Oh, interesting. That was really that was short. abbreviated. Yeah. I don't know why that was didn't so do the whole thing. No, it may. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Couldn't tell you. One? It may be the wrong one. I may just have to re re upload it. I can't remember which one. I, there's so many that we did, so many versions of the thing we did that I probably need to. That was the intro, outro, wasn't it? No, it's the intro. Hmm. I think I think I just need to re-upload it. Is probably what's going on. Got it. Um, yeah. So here we are again doing another unboxing, but this time Chris is unboxing. Yeah. Uh, what are you done unboxing? Two, one. I've only done one. Yeah, yeah. I'm an, I'm unboxing a older uh, sideshow premium format uh, slave Leia big uh, slave Leia statue. Can't yeah. even make those anymore, man. That's no, it's not allowed. No, it's uh, I don't know what year did it come out. I think it's pretty old. It's pretty old. I tried to find me? pictures for it, and I was having trouble finding pictures for it. There's nothing on YouTube about it. Nothing. I swear to God, I you know you know Sideshow keeps their their pictures and their stuff up for older stuff. Yeah, like they have pages up still, right? Um, oh, I like couldn't fifteen years ago. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't find it for this one. I swear to God, Disney probably had them take it down. It's purged. Yeah, they wiped it. I'm, I'm telling sure you, man. Did. I'm telling you. You literally get Star Wars contraband, Chris. It's crazy, dude. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably get yeah. the, the stream. Will probably get taken down because he's at opening. illegal. <laughs> Yeah, slave Leia. it's gonna be like slave Leia. No, nope. it's illegal porn. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, I'm excited, man. <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, other than the pictures I've seen, I have no idea what this thing is. So, um, that's cool. Yeah, I remember have you it been coming looking out. For this? No, no, okay. I wasn't looking for this at all. Okay. Um, uh, I remember this being um advertised a long time ago when I. I it definitely came out around when Darth, Darth Talon came out. I think. Um, oh, like okay. shortly after it, because I was looking at it thinking, oh, I might get it, because you know me, I'm a pervert, so uh, I get all the girly ones. So, yeah. oh yeah. yeah, are you gonna but get the up... mental giant one then? The, oh yeah, the, the language. Yeah. You're gonna both. Yeah, my wife bought me that one. It's one of the only statues she's bought me. So, nah, I'm, that's never going anywhere. Plus, you can never have too many hot girls laying around. So, no, no, no. Whatever. I do Chris. remember back then it being one of the nicer ones. The, yeah. the slave layer is one of the better detailed ones. Yeah. But looking at the pictures, the face looks a little, I don't know. We'll see it in person. Uh, some people say it looks not so bad. Some people say, you know, you look at the pictures, it doesn't look that great. But whatever, it's not, it's a slave layer. She looks a little they, busted in the pictures, but a we'll little see. Bit, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm excited to see it in, in person. It's, a, it's an yeah. older side show. The faces weren't yeah. nearly yeah. as good as they are now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. But again, you're never going to get a slave layer. So, and there is some, there is some, um, some soft goods on this thing, right? There's some like yeah. uh, actual the skirt, yeah, the skirt soft, and uh, this is the regular version. This isn't the premium, the uh, exclusive. Doesn't have the salacious crumb that comes with it. Oh, okay. Um, how I got this was PJ. Well, you guys all know, but PJ um, found like a, a a a guy who sold stuff and asked us if we wanted some things and. This was one of the things I'm like, yeah, I'll jump on it. And I got it for cool, crazy price. So new or used? Jews, it's not, it's, it's opened. Yeah. yeah. I think, yeah. Just, well, PJ opened it up to make sure it was okay and not broken. So, okay, cool. Yeah. So I'll get started. Yeah. Get into it, man. I'll, uh, I'll mute you till you get that thing out. All right. Oh, it's out. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> I'm used to these like giant boxes where we're like struggling to get these things out. Well, it's it's held in by these corner, yeah, these corner star foam, yeah, yeah. so it's not like stuck against the cardboard. Yeah, so that's awesome. What do you? What's this thing you're? Quality. What's this thing you're gonna put it on top of? Like, is this just a box you're putting everything on top of? Uh, you know what? That ain't gonna work. Oh, that'll work for the box. It's one of those pedestal things that I told you about oh, that I got. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I got a couple of them. Uh, I'm going to like, I'm going to actually in the front here, I'm going to fix it up and I'm going to put, um, the Death Star, um, lights in it. You know how yeah. the, the slotted lights, I don't know what you call those things. It's st just Star Wars walls, really. The Death Star walls. Put, Death Star walls. I'm going to put lights in like that and, uh, paint them up real nice and use them for Chewie and, the, and, um, the Rancor and yeah. the other things. So are you going to light them up somehow? Yeah, I'm going to light them up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So, 
Yeah, I guess we don't need to look at the box. It's just shiny off the back. But it's got some some scenes in the back. Look at, look at Greg saying he, he got outbid on a Mythos Obi one a bit ago. Went for twelve hundred. Yeah, oh, that's a good price. Should have should have went uh should have went high at high at that at the end, yeah. Yeah, what's 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 a Mythos Obi one going for now? What are they they're up in the two range. Two, two right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah twelve hundred is a great. Deal. I started Mythos Gold and about a month month or two ago. Go for like that for a thousand free shipping. Someone got a good deal on that. Wow. Yeah, I told you guys I got I I was able to secure a Mythos Vader today. Yeah, it's awesome. So, mm -hmm. I'm happy about that. How'd you get really that? Cool. On eBay, I found a guy who who had it up, and I gave him a best offer, and he took it. Oh, nice, Steve. Yeah. You need to you need to like you need to send this guy an email and say, "Hey, I want pictures of this thing, like actually <laughs> yeah, assembled." Comes and busted. No, I have. I, he he, he put up man. pictures of it assembled. So, and I went over them very carefully. So, that still don't mean nothing. I just hope it gets to you safe, man. Yeah. Well, so do I. So do I, you, man. You haven't had any issues in a while, have you? I haven't bought many used statues in a while. So. Uh, that's yeah. true. Dude, it, actually, Steve, I'm surprised that you took you this long to get a Mythos Vader. You, you I've were been very waiting patient. for the prices have gone up. Yeah, like every every freaking Mythos Vader now is thirteen hundred, fourteen hundred dollars. It's yeah. it's taken a while for me to find one that was more reasonable. Yeah. So this is fifty six out of seven hundred and fifty. Nice yep. little number. It is called Slave Leia, so that's shocking. It's got a little nice. That's very nice. I like that. A little bathroom tile floor. That's good. <laughs> I think it's like the over top of the ranker pit, really. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Man, it's a right. tiny base. Jeez, this thing, how like is this thing it quarter is. scale? Is it yeah, it's quarter scale. It yeah, but that's nice because it could fit into a smaller cabinet yeah, for a change. Crazy. All these massive. That's, a, that's a good. Sometimes it's a good thing. Yeah. Well, he's almost done with the unboxing, guys. So that's pretty you much. Prompt, it's, you want to prompt the music, Matt? <laughs> it's pretty much the music for this. I'm gonna get it's the pretty, outro going. Yeah, it's pretty um, much the figure and and top of the axe, and that's it. I mean, crazy man. There's uh she's not clothed at all. What you got underneath there, Chris? I know you're looking. Nothing. Nothing? She's she zero? Uh, she's got some, like, bikini in the front, but that's, you know. Okay. Wow. Jeez. It's... The face don't is... Your, don't let your kids get a hold of that. Face is good. It's I don't not... think the face is bad. It's not horrible, but it's not, it's not like, today's standards. Well, yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, I like the, the skirt. The skirt's pretty good. And the chain. So I'll put her in there. She got some skiff, uh, skiff weapon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Julia so says, "What? Pipe. What are we unboxing? We're unboxing the Slave Leia premium format figures. That's the main event. I think um, I'm going to unbox a Mandalorian hot toy. I think Chris has it too, so we're going to unbox yep. that. I got mine as well. Um, oh, Can you? See, uh, you know what? You can't see it. Unbox it and shove it into a case. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to move this stuff and move it closer. Electra says landing strip. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, there's like the same color as her, as her um, her uh, skirt. Are you gonna? You think you'll get that? Um, you'll think you get it rooted, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> you need some really rooted hair on that. Statue? Oh my god! I like mine bald. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It's gotta be bald. Yeah. And it's only 10 p.m. I know, right? Here we go. This is pretty nice. It's got like it's it's actually like looks like it was really sharpened, oh, like cool. this, hmm. like the silver. It's not bad. Is that like Steve, a good morning, uh, Steve, were you ever uh, interested in this thing? Is this something you were ever like no, looking at? I it, for me the, the the older statues are hit or miss. You know? yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just thought that this for me it just wasn't. I mean, at the price that that you know Chris got it at. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Right. But uh, but uh, I think it, I think everything looks good except for maybe the face. 
Yeah. She looks. She still looks good right there, though. Yeah, I mean, the face still she... look bad. Yeah, she does. She she looks good. I, th- I like it the pose. Looks horrible. The pose is cool. This this is where um, you know, less is more. Go. Yeah. No pun intended either. Go, no pun intended. Chris, Chris, solo view on Chris. Oh, sorry. Uh, I should have been doing that the whole time. I mean, she looks. Yeah, she doesn't. Awesome. She doesn't. Look, her face it's doesn't a, look that bad. You know what it looks like? It looks like it looks like fourteen year old slave Leia. Is what it looks like. Oh my I give it to side. I give it to side. I'm just, I'm they, just saying. It looks, well. it looks a little young. It looks like young, young slave Leia. Uh, they do well with Leia's face, though. I don't know. I don't. It, this, I don't know what does it look like in person because I mean, obviously, pictures, well, video it's doesn't. Definitely not fourteen year old Leia. That's for sure. Okay, so, so 15? 15? <laughs> maybe sixteen, maybe okay, these right. days. Yeah, sixteen. But, okay. Yeah. No, she's uh the face, it's got the earrings are real nice. Like it's got these, you know, copper earrings. The hair is actually really nice. It's got a lot of different tones in it's in it. Um, I'm sure you can't see it, but like different highlights of you know brown. Well, that's and, back when they were hand painted. Yeah, and copper. The copper head piece is really nice. Um, Chris, yeah, does she have eyebrows? Yes. Uh, yes, they're very very faint. Okay, you might want to you might want to pencil some in there because that but that, they that are there. Help. It'll help. Yeah, you can't see the eyebrows in the video whatsoever. No, but like, body's really great, especially like the hips and stuff. So yeah, it. <laughs> Aero Maestro says I miss being young. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, she's. A, I'm really happy with her. I I like it. Um, the skirt is really nice, actually. I bet it is. It reminds me of the costume I have for my wife. Is it so. wired? Yeah, it's wired. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's wired. It reminds me of the costume I have for my wife. <laughs> <laughs> we were just oh, talking man. about it today. She's like, "Where is that thing?" I said, "I better. I gotta find it. I gotta, yeah, pull, you gotta it pull that thing out of the, some yeah. boxes." Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna go with Dark Talon. So, I mean, she's practically nude. So there's there's not much to it. Yeah, no, no, for sure. That's. I mean, that's. That that is what it is, right? Yeah, that's which is well, that's, which is why Disney wouldn't let you do it these days. No, no. But you know, like it's kind of like if you look underneath underneath the brawl area, you can you know how Leia's was in the movie, like yeah. you basically almost see down her bra. Right. It's it's kind of a lot like that. What's but the chain metal made out of? It's metal. Hmm. Is it really? Yeah, it is. It's some kind of metal. Them. I don't cool. I don't know. I'm really happy with it. I like it a lot. I'm really, it's, you know, is the collar on the neck? Is that like all loose? Like, can you actually like move it around? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, cool. That's cool. Yeah. Like you gotta pose it how you want it. That's cool. Yeah. I'm happy with it. I like it. Yeah. Man, I, it wasn't look, something I was looking for, but. That'll look good look, in, your, in your perv detolf, right? Like, yeah. you know, don't you have like one with like a bunch of like. No. Well, I have, I have the dark, um, the gentle giant one where she's laying down. That one's really good. That's like porn star Leia, to be honest with you. Mm. Um, hey Chris, you how big is that one? I'd say it's oh, about. A lot of people say it's like six scale. Is that correct? Four, no, it's bigger than six scale. In fact, okay. I'll compare it to the to the um, Mandalorian yeah. when I get that out. But yeah, do you have that Leia hot toy anywhere? Do you have like a a Leia? Yeah, let me go get the hot Leia. I'll go yeah, get it. put it next to her. Yeah, Big A saying her face face details a little weak. Yeah, it's it's an older. I mean, you guys, you got to remember, this isn't like we're opening yeah, this is a statue that was just made. It's old. Pre two thousand ten. Probably ten years. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it, it but again, that it's a little, little bit not as good. Despite being that old, one thing about Layer for some reason, um, Sideshow really does well with Layer's face. Hmm. Yeah, and I, I would love to see a thing in person. I mean, it's always to me, it's always it changes a lot once you see it in person. I like the pose. I do like the pose on this one. I think it's cool. Yeah, um, it doesn't take much to deliver on that one. Um, no, and and he's saying Hot Toys faces are more detailed. And you're right. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, yes, you're right. They're very, very much. De- I mean, have you seen DX02? <laughs> It looks like it looks like someone took a freaking, you know, lighter to a piece of plastic. Like it's it's they're oh yeah, oh yeah, that's way different. Yeah, that's quarter scale. It's definitely different. 
Oh yeah, it's way bigger. Like this is on her base. Yeah, and this is the difference too between what we were just talking about, Chris, is the you know modern technology versus oh yeah older you know. Don't get me wrong, the face isn't great. Yeah, but it's not bad at all. Like I'm yeah. I'm I'm not I'm not sending it back. So no, yeah, for sure. But I got a really great deal on it, and you can't. I mean, I love it. I like it. Yeah, Definitely it's expensive gonna... now, isn't it? Yeah, I've seen it go for like a thousand on eBay. As soon as the guy, as soon as EPJ asked me like who won, I I saw it immediately. I'm like I want that, and then after that, I looked it up and to see make sure I got a good price on it, and I was like, yeah, I got a great price on it. <laughs> like, yeah. It's good. It's simple. Yeah, that's really good. Cool. It's very simple, but it's definitely it is a yeah. great one. Yeah. I'm happy with it. Cool. Where so where is it going? Uh, for right now, it's gonna go in one of the detoffs. My whole room is getting an overhaul. Big overhaul. Hmm. Um okay. I got rid of almost all of my vintage collection figures. They're almost all gone. Um crazy. And it's what that a change. Now, what a change. Yeah. Yeah, and the pool table will be going probably within the next two weeks, probably, as soon as I get a couple other pieces that I'm looking to get. And Chewy's going to be right in the middle. It's been a good week for me. So I've had a very, awesome, very good man. week. It's really yeah. cool. I got some RS helmets today, some pilots. They're yeah. pretty. Tell us about those. Those are great. I love them. But every day I, I look at them and, and uh, like them even more. Um, especially in a detoff, they look great. They, especially like I, I have them turned sideways so you can see the artwork. I, I, I love them. I love them. I, I want to get more. What's the deal with that? Steve, Steve, we talked about this, didn't we? That, that every day it just grows on you more and more. Uh, um, the, the paint job you mean? Yeah. The RS, just the RS helmets. Y yeah. It's just so interesting how they just kind of keep it yeah, you know, I, I, it's so interesting. It's the paint. Well, because and I, I think so. I mean, I think, and I don't know. Maybe it's just the perception of what these things should feel like when you first get them, and you're just kind of like, oh, okay. And then you get them, and then the more you have them, the more you're like, wow, this is crazy. Um, well, when I, I picked them up, I was expecting them to be a lot more lighter than they are. Like they're not a Novos heavy, okay. but they're not as light as I originally like. Uh, they're the first uh, RS pieces I've gotten yet, and yeah, you know they're light, but they're not paper thin like some of the other ones I have. Like I have a EFX Stormtrooper that's really thin and hit light, but yeah, yeah they look right. great in a petite off. And my sons actually came down. They're like, "Wow, those are really awesome." So yeah, yeah, that's cool. And you're gonna get you're thinking of getting a couple more, right? I'm gonna get at least two more the, for now. For now. Wait a second. Oh, oh the okay. the X wings. Yeah. You told me like two, three days ago you weren't gonna get any more. Yeah, I know. But like I said, I thought when I first when I was talking to you, I'm like, oh, I don't think I'm gonna get any more. But then the more I look at them the sideways and looking at the paintwork, like they, they're even growing on, on me even more. I want to get two more. I want to get Red Five, and I want to oh, get right. the Gold Leader. That's right. You did say that. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, and then once the helmet wall is all done, then we'll see how many spaces I have left. So <laughs> we'll throw some more in there just in case. But, yeah. This that's is a really quick cool. unboxing. That's a really... <laughs> the face... Oh, yeah, and that's, that's okay. And even, like, on the camera, the skin looks really, really shiny. It's actually kind of matte colored. Like just in like a looking on on the screen, and you can't see the eyebrows at all, hmm. but they're there. Uh, it's got like just, skin tones, like different like pinks to it. Yeah, it's actually really good. That's cool. Um, nice, perfect ass though. Oh yeah, yeah, I believe it. Yep. Um, let's just look at this real quick. Um, Chris, you mentioned that you wanted to men you wanted to talk about this a little bit. Yeah, I I may possibly be the only person who has seen this in person. 
And when, you, when you went to pick up your Chewy bus. I went to pick up my Chewy bus with my sons. And, um, you know, we were all excited to see all kinds of cool stuff because I was there before with Jason and we saw some cool things and I was hoping to see new cool things. Um, and he had this in his office next to CZ3. And my sons were instantly gravitated towards it. They just were, they couldn't get it. They couldn't get enough of it. We didn't actually leave his office for a while because we were, he, we, he, we wanted to look at this con like they were kind of like trying to get us into the other room because there was a whole other warehouse to look at. Right. But this thing in person, it will blow you away. It will absolutely floor you. The tones, the colors, it's not shiny. It's not, it's matte. So it's, and the, and the paints, um, you know how we talked about the, the scabs. Yeah. You, you can't re like, if you first look at it, you don't really see them. If you look, you'll see them. They're not like real bright and stand out. They kind of like are hidden a little bit because it's so the colors are kind of muted. Um, but I'm telling you, this thing is freaking awesome. This uh, Jason question. Yeah. Do yeah. you guys think why haven't we seen the, the actual signature yet? For do you think he just doesn't he doesn't he just not have them signed yet? Is that the is that how it works? Phil's or Phil's, Phil's yeah, Phil hasn't Phil hasn't signed them yet. Okay. Yeah. Is that you I would think that, that would be something he'd want to actually show in, <clears throat> in the images. Yeah, right? the signature plaques are, you know, he's he's um you know he's gonna wait for the plaques to be made and then you know sent out to Phil and so on and so forth. And then you gotta keep in mind Phil's gonna sign eighty three of them and Phil does things at his own. At his own pace. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's he's gotta be in, in his right mind to sign to sign them. <laughs> make, sure them. make sure it doesn't say yeah, make sure it's uh actually Phil Tippett on the plaque. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have to tell you, the ball bearing eyes, the silver ball bearing eyes, they are piercing. They're so menacing. I can honestly say when I first when I first saw pictures of it, I'm like, well, I don't know if I'm gonna like those yeah, eyes. Do they, and then, do they stand out a lot more than they do stand out a lot more? Yes. They 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 really are make it look even more menacing. And in the nostrils, there's some pinkish color that you can't see in the picture. Um it there's some some gloss in the nostrils, like he's got like a runny nose, not a, like runny nose, but it's a dog's nose that's wet, you know. This thing is fucking awesome, to be honest with you. It's just mind-blowingly good. Yeah, dude. And there's a couple of pictures. This one, this picture we had, we didn't get to show last time uh, when we did our thing because we had to wait for today uh, yep. for them to put this out. Look and at the uh, droop in the profile. Yeah, it's fantastic. And then this one, you get to see the back, which is really cool. Yeah, the uh, back is yeah. really detailed. If anybody who's watching right now is interested in getting this, uh, you need to do it right now. You like, got minutes, right? Right now, like yeah, you have. They're they're almost out of these. There's they're ten more. more, ten more of them. He said uh, roughly ten. Which is nuts. That, but that was That's, as of an hour ago. Yeah. So like, and <laughs> go do it. <laughs> it's larger than you think. It, it is actually has good size to it. Hmm. And I okay so. We went there and we saw a lot of cool things. A lot of stuff I'm not allowed to talk about, but um, like we we saw some props from Disney shows and upcoming stuff. And um, I asked the boys when we left. I said, "What is the best thing you've seen there?" Because we we actually I can tell you we saw um, my kids love Predator, and yeah. they had actual Predator body legs there from the movies that were like starting to fall apart because yeah. they were foam latex and they love that. Okay. And actual screen use star Wars props as well. Awesome. When we left, I asked them, what was the thing you liked the best there? Unanimously, all three of them said the ranker. Yeah. No doubt about it. They were just, yeah. they couldn't stop talking about it. And they're like, we can't wait till you have that at home, dad. I'm like, neither can I. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. And you, yeah. and <clears throat> Chris, you got to see some other things, right? You like, we know, at some point down the line, we've seen it behind him in his live streams many times. There is like a, a Gamorrean maquette of some sort coming. Mm -hmm. some, some something, some Gamorrean thing is being made. Yeah, it's, it's always behind concept. him. Did you see it? Did you get to? Actually I did see, see it? it. Yeah, I held it. I put. I held it in my hands. Um, if you're going by John Favreau's picture, 
Okay. It looks very skinny, kind yeah. of almost in that picture. Um, it's not skinny. It's muscular. Mm -hmm. It's it's mm -hmm. like a it's like a wrestler. You know, it's it there's a lot of muscle tone to it. Um it's probably about 12 inches high, maybe, I think. Yeah, I think I think the size on, on camera is misleading. Yeah, it's, it is. It's definitely a def decent size. So I think, yeah. well, Chris, when we held it, it was yeah. probably at least the height of a hot toy, if, if not yeah. give or take. An and yeah. the paint job is really good, too. Like, you could, it has, like, scat scars on its chest and on its arm. And, oh, I'm getting that for sure. Yeah. yeah that's cool. That, that, that one's priced really well, too. It is. I don't know if we're allowed to say the price. No, not, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't say no. anything. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. No, no, no. But um, is, I just, I'm just saying, compared to like for people that are are looking at the Rancor, it's it's a lot more affordable. Yeah, a lot more, a lot more. Um, so yeah, I'm, that's that's exciting. But it's so cool, Chris, that you got to actually see this thing. That's awesome. I am. That's the like. I was hoping to God they still had it, and um, I didn't. I was hoping they didn't ship it out somewhere. And yeah. I'm telling you, it it when you get it, it it might just be most a lot of people's favorite piece in their entire collection. That I could. I'm I'm really interested. Um, I'd like to get your guys' thoughts on this too. When we think they might actually start shipping this thing out, because they don't have a lot of space to keep these things. So, Correct. whenever they start getting these things into their warehouse, the the actual like sculpts, because I I know they have someone else like actually cast this stuff. And then they, yeah. they start working on them. So the question is, you know, how many will they get due at a time? When do you think they'll send them out? Because, I mean, I think I've heard some estimates of like what? Um, I believe it's like March. He March? said March. March, February. He's, aiming, March? For, he's okay. aiming for March. He's yeah. aiming for March, hopefully sooner. Do you think, yeah, do you think some will go out sooner? Yes. I do. Yes. I do. Okay. okay. Yeah. He has two in there right now that he's making for for phil i think he said one was for phil and one was for i don't know i can't say what to say but yeah yeah that's really cool he uh he is uh, you know and i can't see them having too many in there taking up space so yeah 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 i just i'm just really excited to get this thing in hand so i'm hopefully hoping Hoping it happens. Yeah, this is going. This is going to be one of my favorite things. Like I have, it might even compare to Chewy. Chew, Chewy or Rancor, which is better? Yeah, <laughs> tough one, huh? That's uh, tough. Two complete different pieces, but that's tough. Wow, Chewy is very awesome. Rancor is fucking cool. Like it's just. I don't know. Chewie's just, I mean, it's just crazy because Chewie's like piercing and like just such a unique, crazy piece. I mean, I just, I can't imagine, I don't know, I can't imagine the Rancor being that good, but man, um, if, uh, if it is, that's, that's, it's amazing. It's great. I love, I love the back, especially of, of the Rancor because it looks like gnarled fingernails. Yeah. on going down his back like some yeah. nasty I, I don't know how to describe it, but it's just like your toenails <laughs> well maybe not specifically mine maybe yours look <laughs> like that but you know <laughs> yeah it's it's and you know what like when it's not painted i really really noticed every bump and bruise like every one of those bumps they don't like they don't stand out when it's painted, but these little can, ones right here. Yeah, like you can see them on in different light lighting and stuff. So, you know, I, I love the detail. The detail on that thing is just and the bone tail is is the same color as the nails. And and the, the teeth are all gnarled up. It's just it's gorgeous. You, anybody on the fence has to get this. It's really nice. It's what, like 16 something pounds, I believe. Yeah, so it's it's got yeah, some weight. Funny. Yeah. It's got some weight. I'm I'm really it's funny. I gotta figure out how to display this thing. I'm not sure. 
Well, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on a pedestal and put a acrylic case over top of it. That's how. Mm-hmm. That's that's just, what I'm, yeah. That's what I'm gonna be doing, Chris. Yeah. Something similar. It's funny when I was uh, talking to Tom because you know you have to keep in mind all of the things that you had the opportunity to see. But uh, I said to Tom, I said, well, you know, how how do the boys enjoy the the tour of the trip? He said, well, they liked it, but he said, you know, once they stopped and saw the rain course, he said, I, I I couldn't get him away. I couldn't get him out of the office. He said, yeah. it was a good 10 minutes. Mm-mm. And then I thought in my mind, I was like, if Chris sat there and, and, and awed over this thing for 10 minutes, I'm like, it's, it's got to be beyond, you know, that good. It, it's going to be beyond, you know. That's just, I don't I'm know. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. I'm excited. There's just no question in my mind that it's this over Sideshow for sure. There's no doubt. I mean. Yeah. <sighs> Granted, this is more expensive and not everybody can buy it. Well, and that's so, the thing. Like, the, the, yeah. You know, that has to be said is like, look, if you, if you, if there wasn't a price difference, I think, <laughs> I think a shit ton of people would jump on this thing. Of course. But yeah. it, it, I mean, look, it's, it's not cheap. I mean, we can't mm-hmm. just sit here and go, Oh, everyone can just get the, you know, this is something for everybody. It's, it's really not, it's, it's, yeah. you know, um, it's a very, it's, it's expensive. It's, it's tough to get, you know, this thing. So I, I don't. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame anyone for going for the sideshow one. That's, I think the sideshow one's still really good, really good. Yes, it is. Um, and, but you know, that they, like, I think a lot of people are, when you mention this and you mention the price, people are like, God damn, like that's way too much. Yeah. They don't, they're not, they don't, honestly, I'm not saying they're not educated, but you have to realize all the R and D that went into this, all of the skill and craft and, and, the sideshow ranker is going to be an airbrush paint. It's going to look smooth and pretty and a little sheen to it. Yeah. This is nasty and gnarled and. Hey, yeah, Matt, I was going to ask, did, I, I like that question that Nitro 17 put up. Um, something that we might, you know, want to discuss for a minute. What do you guys, uh, what's your opinion on that? Oh, uh, will this go up? That's a good question. I, I think it would. I think it will go up, but how much? I mean, really, will someone... how quickly it sold out? With how quickly well, it sold? Well, it's going yeah, to sell out. Yeah, think. that's true. That's true. Steve. It's going to be I one mean, of those situations where it's it's worth what somebody's willing to pay. I don't think it's going to have a specific market value. Definitely beyond well, look the retail. At, look at the Chewbacca. Look at the Chewbacca head. What, yeah, how you're much right. Did that go, what did that go for? Twenty five, and it's so close to four. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. you know like no, it is. people get these they don't let them go they're locked no, they into the collections and that's the thing didn't somebody pay 4500 for one right before the bus went for sale yeah close to it yeah. wasn't it yeah. wasn't 45 it was like close to four yeah oh okay i thought it was but still yeah it's almost still, chewy I mean, that's, bust. yeah that's it's worth calling it's worth uh writing regal robot and ask just asking like hey should i pay this kind of money for this or hmm. can i you know what i mean like geez <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, I think this will go up. I think it'll go up. I don't know how much though. I mean, it's already, it's already, it's already expensive. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say this isn't expensive. I, mm-hmm. I think the the price is, is worth the collectible, yes. but I still, but I can still sit here and say it's expensive, right? Yes. Um, I'm not saying it's not worth it. I'm just saying it's a lot of money to shell out. Just like this is worth, thing. this is worth selling things to get. It is to me. Yeah. It is to me. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. My, when I was selling them, when I was, when I was thinking about selling my action figures, my son came to me. He's like, you think you're going to regret that, dad? I'm like, no, I don't think so. Cause I'm going to get the Chewy bus and I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this. He's like, yeah, but you've had them forever. And so flash, fast forward, fa- fast forward to yesterday. And I said, okay. So after seeing the ranker and seeing the Chewy bust, and seeing two other things I plan on getting, what is better to have? Mm. A thousand action figures, three and three quarter action figures, you know, that are worth money. Don't get me wrong. They were worth something. Mm. Or these pieces. He goes, Oh, you made absolutely the right choice. Like yeah. just there's no doubt about it. He's he's well, says, Chris, don't you I mean, don't you guys think that like that's what's cool about collecting is that like you the things you get, like like Chris, you you had all those figures. You enjoyed those for how long? Years, right? You you enjoyed looking at those for years and years, and now you can sell it and get these other things and enjoy these things, right? Like it's not, yeah. 
Um, that's part of part of the 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 value of the collectible is that it, you know um, even if you don't make as much money as you let's say you from when you bought it, which usually doesn't happen. Usually you can mm -hmm. get it more for that. But even if you didn't, you still have that value of like the time that you had them yeah, and you know yeah. how much you enjoyed them. So plus um, they don't take up, I mean the other bigger pieces, but I have had boxes of action figures. I've had a whole half of a garage. I have a two car garage. Half of it was filled with cases of action figures that I was never going to display. Yeah. Never going to do anything with other than pass it off to my kids. And when they get it, they're going to be like, what the freaking hell do I do with all these boxes of figures? Yeah. You know? So, yeah. you know, if they get things like this, they'll be able to do something with it. Yeah. No, it's cool. And I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to people that, that are out there that are getting, multiples of these like not of these but of of this and the sideshow version right um i'm yeah. really interested to see those that that comparison uh, you know in in real life because um you know we can sit here and say this or that all day long about this but we we haven't actually seen you know we haven't actually seen the sideshow version in person at all any of us so um and, and i'm guessing the size of that thing alone will be an interesting make that an inch its own interesting piece right and its own piece yeah. that's worth something right so yeah um, i i want to go to a comment that mark pearson made about statues you can yeah. just put uh right there the second last one this one yeah i mean i i put two statues on ebay and i made money on them you know and they paid for a lot of the yeah. rs helmets that i got you know yeah. i think you can Look, Look, hot toys, hot toys sell a lot faster and easier. Yes, they do. But yes. but that said, is we also have a way of doing it, right? Yeah, yeah, that's one thing you have to understand. I think, especially with Mark and some of some of us that are coming from the hot toys collecting and all that stuff, mm -hmm. we know where to how to sell those things. And we yeah. know what will sell and how quickly it'll sell. Like I've got a couple that I'm thinking of putting up soon, and I know they're gonna sell just fine. Like I have no, I have no concern about selling them and I know where I'm going to put them. I know all that stuff. So, and you're not going to lose money. You're not going to lose money. It's no. going to be a probably, probably a pretty quick sell. And then you put up, you send them off and you're good to go. So, so the, the statue is just, it's different. I honestly, I've, I'm trying to not get a, I'm trying to get statues that I want to keep because I can't imagine boxing a statue up and sending it out. Um, I think that would I be sent a lot harder. Two. I sent two of them. It was no big, that, no big deal, or what? No big deal at all. I okay. sold my Poison Ivy and my Ventress Premium Format. Okay. And it only becomes a headache when you're a statue collector and you start selling off a bunch of statues. That's when you start dealing with the headache. Yeah. And they're heavy. They're heavy and and take, you you get, know, but you can get FedEx or UPS to come pick it up at your house. That's true. That's true. Yeah, that's you can nice. schedule that stuff. That's true. Yeah. Um. So anyway, that's. I, I think it's just a matter of not having, you know, not, not having done a lot of that. Um, so, but yeah, but I think, I think it's still something to be said. I think, I think hot toys sell a lot faster personally. So yeah. And you, you, you get more, the retail value or better or better. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. I mean, some, some statue, if you sell on the right statue, you're getting a, a lot yes. better. Just depends I, on the statue. I Honestly, mean, I a made... lot of the star Wars statues are just, there's not a whole lot of them. There's not a whole shit ton of star Wars no. statues. Yeah. Um, I made at double least good the amount. Ones. I made double the amount I paid for the Saj Ventures. No, oh, that's good. That's yeah. great. So um I'll be right yeah, back. I gotta find if, something to sit on. And if you put the word mythos in front of it, you're gonna make a lot. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, uh, but the value of this thing is like I said, the trouble with it is it, it's gonna be locked into people's collections. Anybody yeah. who purchases this is going to have no intentions of letting it go. It's not one of those statues or pieces that you sit with there for a couple of years, you enjoy it, you want to turn it over and put something new in your collection. This is one of those things that unless you fall, fall into an extenuating circumstance, it's not going anywhere. Yeah. And I've, I, I think, I don't, I think I'm trying to remember who I mentioned this to. I'm, I think I'm trying, and this is partly your uh, influence, Jason, and probably Steve as well. Um, 
and this will be the last we ever speak of it. But you know, I think, I think, <laughs> I think, I think it's wanting to move the collection into more of a special pieces type of thing, right? Like you've said, Jason, before, what was the word? Um, curating. The, to curate the, the collection. Curate, curate your collection. Like get it to where you're actually having a, you know, a lot of like really solid pieces in your collection. Right? And less think, is more. Less is more, sure. And I think that's kind of where I'm starting, uh, slightly starting to head. I don't want to go too, I don't want to go so far over there that I only get like one <laughs> thing a year or two things a year. I no, can't do it's, that. Like, it's a slow process. Yeah. And you know, it's it's one of those things that you can enjoy, take your time, and fill things up. I mean, Steve, you would. What would you do if you were only able to get one thing a year, or two things a year? I mean, that you'd it'd go crazy. No, that would be boring. I mean, <laughs> would, this certainly wouldn't be a hobby. No, right? exactly. It's 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 hard to call it that at that point. Um, there would be so much stuff to look at that I couldn't get. Right. Yeah. No true. way, man. Yeah. Jason, you do a lot of that though. What's there's that? a lot of there's a lot of stuff you just just said you say oh that's really cool but I'm just not going to get it. Yeah, before it's well, it got to the point where like you have to keep in mind I've been collecting Star Wars for twenty plus years. Yeah, sure. And when everybody I mentioned this before was going back and forth between Marvel, Star Wars, Marvel, Star Wars, I just stuck with Star Wars. So I remember going back when you guys were scrambling to get the mythos and uh, picking this up, picking that up. I had purchased those and they were released for two fifty, three hundred right. bucks. Right. So a lot of the stuff is already in my collection. So it started getting to a point where recently it was easier to become much more selective. And I started seeing a number of things coming out that I enjoyed and that I liked, but it was just easier to make a choice to say, okay, well, I prefer this over this piece. So it was easier to pass on things. Yeah. Yeah. And no, I hear you. Um, Preston say how much, how much, uh, how much is this one over the sideshow version? This, so this one's what? Three grand. It's double. Three with shipping oh, 50, and then 55% more. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then the, the side shows 12, 13, 13, I think quite a bit more. Um, the, uh, the addition, uh, area 51 says the addition size also dictates how the future value of this piece will be. Correct. correct. Very correct. I, um, I just love the idea that it, that this thing is so popular and 83, there's only 83 of them. Uh, this is going to be, my opinion is going to be a, a major classic. Yeah. Oh, yeah Every, this is everybody, gonna be everybody's going to sure. want to have this. Just great. I agree. And, and then I you're going think... to have, have new collectors come in and they're going to backtrack and see this. And Well, we yeah. talked, Jason, didn't we talk about this? Didn't we talk to Tom and he wasn't at, at certain, at a time, at a certain time, he wasn't sure where, where he was going to go with the addition size. He was thinking 83. He was aiming a hundred. Yeah, he was thinking of 100. I think it was even more at one point at, at some point yeah, thinking right. of. So um, it's actually, I commend him for sticking to 83 because he probably yeah. could have, I mean, he's, I don't know, he might be kicking himself in the in the, the ass right now thinking, damn, I could have sold <laughs> another, how many of some, these? Something uh, I didn't think of yeah. was, something I didn't think of was people asked for like number 83. Yeah, the one. Yeah, and, and people were fighting over it on the one page. I yep. wanted eighty three. We'll, I think Mike. I, I thought, thought I Mike, Mike Collier got eighty three. Yeah. yeah, there's only one number that matters. Oh my gosh, <laughs> what's that? What number is that, Steve? I don't know. That big fat number one. Perhaps. Um, I. You may, a good have point a strong was made, feeling. I have a strong feeling. <laughs> One of us will get on this panel. We'll get number one. And it's not. I, me. So. I have an even even stronger feeling that one of us will have this in hand before number one. <laughs> yeah, I think two of us will, Chris. <laughs> I think two of us will. That's so good. Well, uh, I believe I could be wrong. I believe I'm fairly close to the beginning of the, of the run. So I I'm ex I'm excited. I'm hoping that a a you know what does chip out. You know somewhere. what number two is, right, Matt? Uh, <laughs> runner up to number one, first loser. Yeah, I'm actually probably more like the third or fourth loser because I don't, I don't think I got a number two either. I um, think I'm like number ten or something like that. I think I'm four. I never, I never put that into numbers. Even yeah. like artist proofs, <clears throat> I just never really. I like, don't I have a up. number of like. Listen. I have a lot of artist proofs on pieces, and I just it doesn't it doesn't just doesn't doesn't do it for me as long the as i only, have a piece of magic. the only thing i care about with this one is that i i will get it sooner than later 
That's what I yes. care. About. I don't care about the number. I could give a shit if I'm 35 or, you know, 67. I just really want this thing to come not, you know, because you got to think about it. And this is how I've thought about it. It's like the later you are, like they, they own, they make, they're going to make these and send them out and make them and send them out and make yep. them and send them out. Like five so, out of 10 out. Yeah. Five, five or 10, ten at a time. time. At a time yeah. Yeah. So, so if you're, if you're, if you're in the last, if you picked 83, I hope you're on a long payment plan because you're, okay. you're, you're, you know, you're not getting that thing for quite a while. Um, you know, it's just the way it is. Yeah. Hmm. I haven't even thought about that. Wow. Yeah. You're, you're looking at, if you're yeah. number 83, you're probably looking at April, probably April. Oh, I probably, think farther yeah. than that. April, May. If they're doing yeah. five so. to 10 at a time and he's starting in May, May on March. Well, he's, he says he's starting. I don't, that's, that's what I don't believe. I think. Well, they'll be shipping out in batches in March. So most of them, half of them will probably be done by then. Yeah. And I, 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 packaging and I, I think boxing. they'll, I think they'll have some before that, but that's, you know, we'll see. Um, also he is not casting these on premises. It's like it's the only number that matters. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah. I can't okay. read. I can't read any of the messages. My my web browser's gone crazy. What what does it say that you get up right now? Uh, it says the only number that matters three thousand dollars. <laughs> 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 Which is uh yeah, that's he's not wrong. Um let's see. This one uh Nitrous. If I buy Regal Robots Star Wars collectibles, I probably wouldn't sell them, I think. This is all, all new to me to start collecting more authentic pieces. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, like it's, you know, again, guys, and this is, this comes back to, I mean, you guys have, well, some of you guys have seen our like evolution and like, you know, going into some of these things. And it really comes down to who you're collecting with in your, in your circle and in your, your community, like who you're seeing, whose collections you're wa collections you're watching and stuff, it, you know, that guides where you're going to. It's just the yeah. way it is. Like, I don't know what to say. I don't want to say that you're following anybody or I'm following anybody, but I am affected by how people collect. It's just, I think it's, it's a huge influence. It's just sure. the way it is. It's just the way it is. Yeah. And I'd rather, I'd rather do that, have that happen than be collect by myself and be, you know, a, a freaking yeah. loser, loser that has no friends. Right. I want to, I want to have friends that I can collect with. And if it, <laughs> uh, if it makes me go in a certain direction, then fine. Like I'm, I'm okay. Listen, I spent 30 years collecting by myself. And trying to talk to my wife about it. It's no fun. So yeah, it's it way work. more it does, fun. That doesn't work. I can, I can oh guarantee it doesn't work. It's so much more fun talking to friends about, oh about this stuff. And if you guys influence me to buy awesome shit like this, then um, so be it. But it's also, yeah, yeah. it's also the learning process, the growing process, like the things that you do learn about it. Because remember, Matt, you originally was like, you know, the sideshow is good enough for me. Yeah. I'm sure this thing will be beautiful. But it, it was more along the lines of, as you continue to learn more about it, you know, became more educated as to what you were getting. It totally changed your point of view. It's so. it's the same thing with the CZ3, CZ3 bust. It's the same exact thing. It gets me every yeah. single time. It, it makes me mad, but this is, this is my, this is how it works. I don't want it. I don't think I want it. It's not, you know, not my thing, but I'm glad someone else is getting it. Like I'm excited for you. Then we start talking about it more and I'm like, Oh, it's, it's cool. Yeah. Like I, then, and then we start talking to Tom or somebody about it. And then I'm like, wow, this is really interesting. Then someone unboxes it and I'm like, oh, that looks really good. <laughs> and then I'm like, well, I think I might get it. And then it starts to get into, no, I really need to get it. Like I can't, I can't wait to have head. it. <laughs> yeah. I can't get it out of my head. And I'm, and I'm like, only, what do I got to sell to get this thing? Like that's your progression my... is only like a matter of hours to, to one day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. When he goes well, to the finish, thinking about it, happens... he wakes up the next morning. I'm like, I'm getting it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This all happens quickly. Um, yeah. but it, that is the less than 24 hours. Honestly, this, and this is, this is what I want Tom to understand. The more he talks to us in the community, I think the better yeah. it, that a lot of that was part of, was just him talking about it. Like the, mm -hmm. the passion he has for that thing he's making for the CZ three bust. A lot of that comes from like, first of all, I'm a huge fan of like weird star Wars shit. Like I think, I think that's what makes star Wars so cool is that they have really weird but like Obscurity. really weird droids and like really strange characters, like even Jar Jar being super strange characters. Right. And I freaking love it. And so he has the same passion for that kind of stuff. Like he talks like that about star Wars and I really like that. Um, so I don't know. Yeah. It just, just made me interested. He likes the background characters like 
Yeah, he's he a does. Cantina alien guy. He is. Yeah, you don't get is. much more background characters than that. Obsessively like, Cantina alien. Yeah. yeah, he loves like the the guy with the big bug eyes and and you know and anything that's background like K three PO and stuff like that. He Jason, do you know it. how this? Do you know how this works? He says, "I already said fifty one says I assume he made eighty three for sale, but he has a few for quality or broken during shipping." Like, how does okay, that work? so that, that's an interesting question. Okay, so uh, how do I answer that? So based on some of the conversations we had, well, you these can talk, are you made, can talk about it in general, right? You can talk about like, yeah, what, no, it's it's not a it's not a it's not about a, a matter of like what I can or can't say. It's just it's a lot different from what we're used to, like with companies like Sideshow or XM or whomever produces statues. There's always the notion of okay, you have to make others because in shipping this takes place, you know, this could happen. Um, but I think with Tom and I, and I don't want to speak for him because I, I could potentially be wrong, especially in this particular case, I don't think it's capped at 83 and then, all right, let's make five more in case somebody receives one damaged or at the quality that these are made at the level that these are made and the way that they're executed and produced. I think it's a matter of if you receive one damaged, you ship it back and it gets repaired in the studio. I don't think he tucks five or 10 aside. And if somebody calls and says, Hey, I got a broken, whatever, whatever, I think they would accommodate you with shipping it back, reworking it and then sending it back out to you. So that's, that's, that's also that museum level quality that you're getting. The same thing would happen if you were dealing with a piece of art, it would be restored. It basically, you would be restoring the piece, not replacing it with another commercial item. Um, well, and that's what makes it all that more unique. Yeah. Well, except the hard part is if that, if you had a regal robot statue or like, you know, you had one of these rancors and a finger was broken, you send it back and they fix the finger and sent it back to you. Now you have a statue that's been repaired. repaired. So the hard part about that is I don't know if they can actually do that. Right. They might have to go. We're giving you a whole different one. And oh, possibly, yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm not, I obviously we don't know anything, but I would but like, assume that I would assume if that was the case, like let somebody received, let's, let's just play theoretics and somebody received one and it was just busted. Let's just say, you know, yeah. UPS, you know, theoretically kick the box around cause they don't ever do that. Um, you know, the piece comes in damaged. They may even just make it to replace that particular one. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, so you yeah, may have to waste one. time, Start but I don't think one. there's, yeah. And I, but I think it would be made to replace that one. And you might have to wait a little bit of time. I don't think they have a couple sitting on the side. No, like, right, right, right. I so would yeah, just, that's think, basically what I'm getting at. I would just but, think they would take whatever is coming down the line and say, this one is going to replace this one. Right. The, it, like, as in, we just made this one for, this was going to be number 35. We're going to send it out to replace this one. Now this is number 35. Right. To me, that's an easy thing to do to just I but do also jason this material yeah. is not that fragile no like, that's another not thing. what they choose it, it doesn't these don't these things don't break easy it, no. it'd be very hard and very difficult to break these things there's a lot of confidence in what they do it's and i also hard think, cast resin it's a polyurethane resin it's it's yeah. it's pretty solid and if they were to hold any back um like i had a conversation with them today and the discussion on pulling some, I think it would actually come from the, you know, the addition of 83. So if even if two were put aside for the sake of having to replace it, it wouldn't be 85 or 86. It would be out of that. Like it's capped at 83. Like that's yeah. it. It stops at 83. No ifs, ands, or buts. He ain't going to make extras. Yeah. There's, yeah. there's no, and that's normal. I mean, Sideshow does it, you know, all these companies do it where it's just normal because you have to, you're shipping out to so many people, but you're also, when you're on that, when you're doing that, you're talking about additions of a thousand, five thousand, five hundred, you know, 83 pieces, they get it right the first time. And then oh. the off chance that it potentially something happens, they do their job to make it right. Steve, what happened? What do you, what would you say would happen? Because you I mean, you're, you've, you're used to broken things. So like, what, <laughs> what, like, what, what do you think they would do? I mean, have you had to send something back to Sideshow, Steve? I have not. I don't think I've ever sent anything back to Sideshow. I've had pieces replaced where they made me, uh, where they told me I had to destroy them before they replace them. But, okay. um, cause that, that's I think, my question. I think Jason's on this is right on, Right on there. I think that 
that maybe what they do is they sell 81. They hold two in reserve. And then once everything goes out and they're sure everything's good, then they release those last two. I don't yeah. know. I, I, it's either that or they're made on the spot. I, yeah, I don't think this is the sort of thing where you you make a couple extras and they're laying around. Matt, go to go to a picture of the, of his earring, will you? Um, See if you can get a close up of his earring. Can you zoom in on that? Uh, hold on. Oh, scroll. Sorry, yeah, scroll. scroll. There we go. So you can't really see it very well, but there's his earring is has a wire wrap around it. It's just a little cool detail that you don't know. Yeah, notice. it's like right here. Right yeah, here. it's like yeah. wrapped around like a coil. Um, it's just little details that I noticed about it that were just really cool. And here's the, here's the scab thing too. Yeah, like this yeah. one of the scars that he was talking about. Now, Matt, one thing that you talk about often from time to time, which is going to be extremely, extremely important for this piece, is lighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, Matt, Jason, I'm telling you, seeing it in his office, and you know he doesn't have good lighting in his office. All those yellow green guacamole walls. Yeah. Yeah. It's it. I don't think it's going to matter that much. Great lighting is going to make it look even better, but it still looks good in bad lighting. Well, it's, dude, listen, he, he had that stream. Tom did that stream on, on um, what last Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And um, even with his dog shit lighting, I was like, <laughs> I, 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 I wrote in their Be text, nice, in Matt. their chat. No, he's <laughs> listen. Their, their lighting is just God awful. Listen, and so Tom like, I, knows I, Tom knows, knows Matt it. has he a thing it. for feces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wrote, I wrote, and I was like, dude, like, like even with this shitty lighting, this thing looks great. And, and, um, and it's true. Like it's, it was, it actually still looked good even without any sort of like good lighting on it. It still looked pretty good, but, but that's what, that's what, what you're saying, Jason is if you're, if it looks good like that, think about lighting it well and how Probably. amazing it will look at that point. Right. Yeah. Um, Cause, cause you're, like, you know, you're it's a showstopper. This picture ball bearing is great eyes lighting. popping and like all that stuff is just going to be fantastic. The ball bearing eyes are so menacing. Yeah. When I display this, it's like Chris said, it's going on a pedestal. It's going to have a cover. I think I might actually do a mixture of both warm and uh, white light. It'd be a shame to put this against a wall just because of how great the back is. Yeah. I don't have a choice. That's I know. Be, it is what it is. You got to get yourself a turntable, Matt. You I, might want to get one of those those uh, legend legendary displays with the turntable. Oh god, automatic! No, I don't want to. I don't want to get anywhere near that. <laughs> but you can uh, buy a, a automatic turntable, okay? Yeah, they're not that expensive. No, I, I yeah, um, I just probably don't have the room for that. I mean, look how far this thing extends out, like that. Yeah, you know, you can't. Like this is probably where how I'm going to display him. To be completely yeah. honest, well, you get a you get a lot more <clears throat> visual and oh, aesthetic from the profile. So much more to see like this. I mean, it's just fantastic. And mm. and if you come from, you know, a certain directions, you can see the back more or the front yeah. more, right? The um, tail's coming towards you at that direction. Yeah, yeah, right there. So cool. Jason, um, we're not allowed to say how he made the the drool, but safe to say it's not going to break off. It's not. No, no, mm -mm. it's it's very durable. Yeah. Um, one of the questions was. Uh, the addition size of 83, yes, it was um, a little fun Easter egg towards Return of the Jedi. Yeah, the yeah. The year that it uh, came out, yeah. Yeah, and then Nitro's the I watched same. the Return Naval of the Jedi well. this weekend, and yeah. I specifically looked for the eyeballs. Because Did you see it? All this detail about the ball bearings. You know, and you know, you're looking at the, you're looking at them walking, and you look at the eyes, and you can, now you know, now you know that's a ball bearing in there and how awesome that actually it makes is. such a whole new level of appreciation for the movies every time i yeah. learn something new and steve we discussed this the, the learning process is one of the things i enjoy every time i learn something new whether it's via a book or collectible or whatever it may be you just enjoy the movies that much more yeah i i will say though that i'm starting to pick up on details i've never picked up on before like like in that scene the gamorian is trying to escape trying to crawl back up the tunnel he's he dropped down. Yeah, right. And if you look at him, you can see the joints between the rubber legs that he has on and his and his like I don't know, his his underwear, right? You can see yeah. the, the blatantly obvious fact that it's a costume with multiple pieces 
yeah. uh, that he's wearing. You, you start noticing all those now. Um, I've also started noticing all the, the, the background characters. That, you the know, background you, characters start to you know, really never really up. I never really paid attention to that as much. And now I'm I'm poking I'm I'm realizing, oh look at all those characters. Yeah, you know, it's 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 the attention to detail. It's crazy. It's, also, it's fun though. Speaking of joints, he uh on I'm not sure which live stream it was one of the two, he was talking about the hand having um yeah. a joint, like a gap. That I didn't see no gap. I didn't see nothing. Uh, it, 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 if it was there, I didn't notice it, and I, I had my face two inches away from this sucker, like I was touching it. And what only has like, doesn't it only have like three or four switch, like things that come off? Like it's the yeah, hand, it's the, the, the hand, the 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 cuff, the, the cuff, cuff, and the, cuff. the, cuff. And the, the body, the, and the bottom, the the, the yeah. what's his what standing on the yeah. base, yeah, yeah. Is he pegged in? No, it's magnetic. It's actually there's a there's a, a little peg. Like maybe like a, like a metal. Well, it's it's like a one inch, like a three quarter inch deep, and it goes into a socket. But there's a, a magnet that a earth magnet that holds it in. You can he even showed me you can actually put it in and have the the hand go the opposite direction. No, he's talking yeah. about. Are you talking about is, into the base? Is, is he pegged into his base? The, he has. A I'm assuming metal yes. Rod with the feet. Yeah, I didn't pick it out to find out. I didn't take it apart to find out, but I'm assuming. I would, yeah, I would think so. I would think. Yeah, so. I'm sure it is. Because that reminds me a lot of like the Kotobukiya magnetic bases, and I was just kind of curious if he was pegged in or a magnet. magnet. I'm sure yeah. he is. So you don't want him to like. He could tip. I mean, he's, yeah, you don't want any tilting at all. No, I mean, he's, I know they said without the base, he he's actually standing very uh, balanced mm -hmm. well, okay. but still, man, any any. Geez, any any movement would be happy. Uh, yeah, he, it looks to be keyed in by two small metal rods that go, you know, circular, almost like the reverse of when you have like an action figure and the peg goes into the foot. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just basically the reverse of that. Okay. Yeah, it's like a statue. It's like a statue, right? Yeah, because yeah, because they probably had the rod going into the foot, right? And like yeah. certain, I'm um, far away into the foot, so that it keeps it. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, one important question how to order from the uk <laughs> that is a um, question that they get a lot and we get a lot and there's not the much bane of their existence have yeah, a friend the, in the united states that's the existence. best you can do is if you have a, a a friend or family member in the u.s and just go from there yeah yeah because i mean if you think about it like um i i think it's i think it's licensing right i i there was someone on I think yeah. it was cargo holder somewhere that was kind of ragging on real robot for not shipping to the, you know, anywhere else. And, and I had, I went on there and was like, well, I don't, I don't think they have a choice. Like, I think if they could Tom take your money, there. if he they could take me. your money, they would, right. They, yeah. they, they are yeah, happy course. to take money from anywhere, but they just license wise, I don't think they're allowed. So no, he, he answered it on one of the, one of the yeah. pages saying, he contractually cannot sell it outside of the United right. States. Exactly. And that's, you know, that's not that uncommon. Most, I mean, look at XM studios. Those have to be imported. You know, yeah. those aren't sold here in the U S and you pay a hefty shipping price Yeah. Uh, because of that, because somebody has to, you know, import them, export them, et cetera. And that, that goes for a lot of things. It's not just Regal robot. There are so many, I mean, there's so many companies that, that can't, ship outside of the u.s and vice versa right it happens often it's yeah, common yeah. you can see that it's frustrating it's it, it is frustrating but what do you think chris i really like it i'm happy with it yeah for bum i don't you have like, a lot of statues you like that booty right i do I'm trying to get to you i um, have i have two four statues i have four, four statues. statues and this yeah, one. you have you have grievous iron studios vader uh, Darth Talon and Mythos Gamorrean. Gamorrean, maybe Mythos Gamorrean. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Those are the only four I have. That's awesome. And this um, five now. Well, that's cool. The Leia, you... Do you have a Leia? Doesn't count as a statue. Well, yeah, I guess it does. Yeah. Six. Is the other, the other ones where she's laying down? You said. Yeah, I can go get it. No. She's like in the. She's like in the bed, right? Yeah, she's on Jabba's. Jabba's. Day it's or it's yeah it's not even no it's not Java's dice it's a it's just a bed with a blanket on it. 
The reason I why I was it. curious about that is I saw somebody post one for sale and they marked it generically as one six. And I thought about getting it to pose with because she's statue, like stat, you know, kind of like a statue, um, to pose with the sideshow Java because he's you know pretty much even though he's one six, he's pretty much a statue as well. It is one six scale. It's the size of a hot toy. Oh, is okay, it? so she would oh, fit yeah. well if I put it. Okay, yeah, she would fit well on on with Java, no doubt about it. All right, I think Steve, I, might, you, I might, I might, I might go for it then. Steve, what's that box back there? Oh, you just noticed that, huh? Yeah, what is it? <laughs> cool. I just, I just got this in today. You guys mentioned about doing an unboxing. I figured I would just open. Yeah, it what is it? You know? What is it? It's, Cody, you guys are all. You, none of you guys want this. You guys are not interested in it. At all. It's, it's got to be. Is it Cody? Is it an, is it an elf doll? What is it? Uh, no, no, no. I'm telling wait, you, wait, wait, wait. Tell you, you seriously, none of you guys. If if I offered to you for half price, I don't think any of you guys would buy it. Where, where did you get it from? Um, from uh, Tim sent. Yeah, you can yeah. tell by the green wrapping. Yeah. You're not getting as is a lot of, is a lot of the rings anymore. It's not Asmus, and it's not Cody. No, it's not Cody. Okay, that's is it Harley Quinn. <laughs> yeah, well, it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be your favorite Arthur Fleck, right? <laughs> That's good. Steve That's Steve good Buckle, the one for Arthur Fleck. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this is it Star Wars? Yes. All right, wait, 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 wait. None of us let's, are gonna let's play. It. Let's play. Okay, we're gonna play. Why don't we? Why don't we play Star 10, 10 questions? And that was your first one. All right. All right, I re- all right. This is actually getting kind of fun. Let me ask. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Was hold on. Something? Do we have yeah, ten? Take turn. You take we have turn ten amongst all of us. And amongst all of you, and that was your first one. Okay. Jawa and Gunk Droid. No. Was it Not recently good. produced or an older yes. piece? Recent. Okay. Recent. Okay. Hmm. Does it have hair on it? Sorry? <laughs> Does it have hair on it? No. Oh. <laughs> it's not the it's not the Ewok. <laughs> Recently. Recent. I know that's the Is it a main thing character? No. Okay, so wait, here's the trick. That, so it's, this isn't a question. So by default, it's recent, but it's something that neither of us, or I, any one of us three would want to purchase at half price. It sounded like a question. I'm not going to answer it unless you call it an official question. Right, I'm not going to call it official. <laughs> <laughs> Don't waste them. Um, this is a cool know. version of what's in the box. It is. I'm, I'm, it's it's, driving me crazy. Uh, hold on. This isn't something that we have, that either none of us have. Do any of us have it? No. The thing that's getting me, Matt, is he said that none of us would want this and have no interest in it. But it's Star Wars, and it's recent. Hold on. Hold on. Is it Hot Toys? Yes. No. What could we dislike that much? <laughs> Another fecal trooper? I don't know. Is that a question? No, don't. I'm don't just. Make no, I'm thinking a lot. I'm thinking a lot. <laughs> he's already. He's already got two of those damn things. He doesn't want any more of those. Um, well, he missed it on all the snowtroopers, so he's making up. Um, no idea. Recent. It's not a main character. So. <laughs> this is this is great. I didn't expect this to be so much fun. <laughs> yeah, what could it be? Jeez. Come on, the- Matt. Get in the private chat. What do you think? <laughs> I don't, dude. I don't. Honestly, I don't know. I mean, I, I honestly it's don't recent, give a it's sh- a I honestly story. don't give a shit. But like, it's interesting, right? Like, it um, is. I want to guess it. I don't know how we're missing this. Um, Mud Trooper. I don't know Mario Mud Trooper. We would love that. I would. I would totally buy a Mud Trooper. I know we have all. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't see how you said it's something we wouldn't have interest in. It's recent. It's a hot toy. It's Star Wars, but we wouldn't have interest in it. It's got to be something busted. What's busted that came Wait, what out recently? Would, what would Chris not have interest in? That's the question. Because Chris buys a lot of Star Wars hot toys. I do. I'm a, I I'm, I'm a little bit more them. picky, and Jason, you're very picky as well. I would say, I, well, I get all, when it comes to hot hand. toys, I get all the Star Wars. I would okay. say Chris would really not want this. Huh. What? Jesus. I mean, what? What's come out recently? Oh, uh, uh, Jump Troopers. 
thing. That's though. a jump trooper. <laughs> yeah. Really? Oh man, <laughs> that's why. It's, that's why. That gave it away for a week. <laughs> you could just burn that. Instead of that. <laughs> Space Troopers and Jump Troopers was one of the first. Uh, first uh, I knew that was. Uh, uh, to get uh, Darth, we, this should have been our first question. Is it what? Is it from a sequel or tr original? Trilogy exactly. Or, right. Yeah, we should ask that. That's dumb. <laughs> Pure garbage. Well, we all have something. We all have something except for Jason to open. So Jason's gonna have to just sit by and watch us. Um, I'm gonna open the Mando figure. It's like Christmas. No. I can. I always get. I always get stuff to open. It's, I just. It's, <laughs> it's not really like Christmas. It's like Christmas. If it was and they send each other gifts. If this was a bust, I was opening. That would be like Christmas. That would be awesome. Yeah, you couldn't pay me to have that thing, actually, Steve. I like it, Chris. It's a nice trooper. So wasn't the space trooper. The space and the jump are both really nice. Steve, Come do you on. have a space trooper? Yeah. That thing is – I think that's a fantastic piece. Space I, trooper. And a, a little fun fact, jump. too. Joe Johnston wore that outfit in the movie. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah. Design didn't work. I've been actually really looking forward to this Mando figure to come, and I haven't even opened – I haven't even – thought about it because we're talking I'm, about the I'm record. dying for mine. I get the statue. I'm dying for the figure to come in. Yeah, and everyone, dude, everyone was putting up really nice pictures of this thing too. So I'm excited. I don't know why I really have no interest in any of the statues of the Mando, but this I'm exceptionally excited for. I'm so happy I'm not Steve opening the yeah. Jump Trooper. I told you guys <laughs> <laughs> You actually paid to get that early, Steve? No. No, I no, it's an old, it's an no, it's no, I got a, a huge discount. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I get one of those, Chris. I love it. Very but then nice. again, I, I think I think I have every Star Wars hot toy that was released, literally. So you're that, saying you, a, you, you would get a jump trooper, Jason? I have one. Oh, you do? Yeah, I have I literally have every hot toy Star Wars that see when everybody was scrambling to get Marvel. Sorry. That, wait. Uh, um, wait a second. They're called jump troopers from uh, the you're Rise of the, the back. You talk about the one with the backpack with the mandible no. face. No, he's talking about. Oh sequel. no, I don't have one. Sequel. I don't have one in hand, but I did order. It. I I have the red and the white on order. I don't Are have it in called, hand. Though. They're called jump troopers, right? The... Aren't they? Um, I'm thinking of uh, Steve. What's the one with the backpack? Not yeah, the space it, trooper, but the right. There is a, a jump. Trooper. There is a jump yeah. trooper there, so I'm, yeah. I'm starting to wonder if I got the right name. That's what I was thinking. All right, that's the one I was thinking of. Nice. Uh, uh, I like that helmet. Yeah. Look at that. Look at the, look at the blood on that thing, dude. Wow. That's hey, Steve, pretty... that's that's the type of blood I was expecting yeah, on the helmet. Hmm. A little bit more dark and fresh. It's really like nice. you just took a bat to the head. Yeah, I originally Actually, thought that they were like red. It was like the blood was a little too red, but I remember you saying no, no jet trooper. Jet Trooper. Jet. I just this would actually jump, be an interesting right? one to have jet. in the collection, a helmet like this, where it's like all like shit That's, stained. That looks, shit is that stained the same one that stained. came with, uh, with, um, with uh, Wicket? Uh, no. Just no, painted no. differently? It's got a hole in the top. Oh, okay. It's got a hole in the top of the head. Oh, because it's got to go over the, the pike. Yeah, so it's, it's got this like, it's got impaled. this thing on the... Nice. It's really nice. I like it. I like it. That was another thing I used Ooh. to enjoy when you guys were all backtracking, trying to get like the Death Star Gunner and the Snow Troopers because everybody was buying Marvel. I'm like, oh, got them because I didn't. I was. I didn't have to cherry pick between Marvel and Star Wars. I first saw this exactly one year ago at New York New York Comic Con. Is when they first had this up for viewing. Damn, this That's is a nice, quick this is a nice figure right here, dude. Oh, he look, he does look nice. Wow, he looks really good, dude. In person too, he man. Sure does. Um, like just the materials that he's made out of. I mean, it's all just it's freaking he's got gorgeous. The, he's got the he's holes, weathered nicely too. Holes in the cape. Steve, did you forego the Mando because of the statue, or do you have yeah. him coming in? All right, you I'll get the best car version. That makes sense. I yeah, do this out of one of my, my very small victories that I was actually able to say no. Say no to what? 
the do a, do a hot Star Wars hot toy for once. Hey, Chris, yes. is one of these missing for you? One of these things? Yeah, the is third one to? should be. Yeah. One in between should be missing. Okay, good. Yeah, that's, that's, that's correct. Second from the top. Because they do move, and so I was worried that one of them fell out. But oh, this, is just, this is awesome. Yeah, it's freaking beautiful. Hmm. Even the what do you think, Steve? What's the that the helmet design is so much cooler than it looks in the movie? Nice. Yeah, I get one of those coming in, so I'm looking forward to it. It's it's a lot like eat more evil looking, and the backpack design is really cool. Yeah, I think this is a cool trooper. Now, did you buy that because you really wanted it or just because you have all the troopers? Um, well, remember, I think we ordered this before the movie came out. Oh, you, right? oh okay. So um, so that was one thing, right? Um, at the time, I thought, oh, okay, that looks pretty – the design looks pretty different, pretty cool. Um, I love all troopers, so I'll go get one. Since, since then, though, you know, the movie kind of ruined – a lot of stuff, but I think that this is actually a pretty cool design when you see it in person. Which did you get, the red or the white? I got the red. I got does, this thing, does this thing go <laughs> under his cape? Yeah, it's, it does. It right, go, it goes underneath. Behind, it, goes, yeah. it goes through. Does there's it go through it? Yeah, there's a slot on the back. Is it really? Yep. Like through his cape? Yeah, you see the hole. Oh, in the back I see. There? I see the hole there. Yep. Interesting. This this helmet looks exactly like the Innovos helmet, not oh, the great. EFX helmet. Yeah, it's great. Let's see. Now is anybody gonna display him with the short trooper shoulder? That's how I did my statue. Did you? The short yeah. trooper what? I did the same thing. Short trooper pauldron. Pauldron. Uh, I, I'm not sure. Awesome. That Beskar looks so freaking good. Yeah, but the Beskar on that bodysuit is like when you see like a thousand dollar car with five thousand dollar rims, you know? Well, that's his helmet, man. His whole helmet's that way. Yeah. You think this is their highest selling hot toy? You think this is Iron Man no numbers? See, I dig that. Uh, I don't know. I, I dig I the. I think the Jim Trooper. So the let's see if I can do it without it. There's like a there's like a really mean look the way that angle that 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 piece that goes between the eye slit and the cheek that looks pretty nasty. And the mandibles aren't you know like the I call them mandibles. Well, not mandibles, but the um, but they're not as like torrential looking. Yeah, they're not as pronounced as like pictures make it look. Doesn't look like a praying mantis. No, no. I know a lot of people are kind of freaked out by that design. They don't really like it. And the jetpack is uh, it's a pretty cool design for the jetpack, too. Are you getting yeah, the white one? Nice. No, I'm not. I didn't go that crazy. No. So how much, did you, how much of a deal did you get on it? I think I got it for $170. Oh, too much. Yeah, you can't go wrong with that. <laughs> got to figure out how I'm going to display this guy. Like, what pose I'm going to put him in. You know, I don't want to do this just walking pose with it. I, so one, of my favorite, like one of my favorite things about this this figure is the rifle. So I'm going to try to display it somehow with the rifle. Like him doing something with it? Yeah, I love the rifle. The rifle's amazing. See, I like, I like the look of it behind him, personally. but I do, too. Don't get me wrong. It looks good, but everybody seems to be doing that. Well, sling yeah. it, Chris. Sling it like uh, like he's holding it, resting it on the shoulder, like this. I saw somebody. Who was it? Who had a really awesome pose today, where he was like pointing the gun and bringing his other rifle around with the other hand. Yeah, I saw that. So that, it's cool that they're using uh, uh, what's it called? Velcro. Velcro for this kind of stuff. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Like super yes, it is a good time. week so far. Yeah, you got a lot of fun stuff. I did. <laughs> My wife's gonna start asking me, when is this gonna stop now? Like 
Never. Yeah, she's like, what the hell? I may have some more RS coming this week, hopefully. Really? I hope so. I guess yeah, you still have to, I, I'm I'm really interested to see when. Hey Jason, when do you set when does that stuff come in? Um so I'll be here's the thing, it's going out tomorrow, or by tomorrow evening is when it's being shipped. And then um I come back, I travel uh next week, but I should be back Sunday or Monday. Because I'm looking forward to that because I want to maybe do an unboxing of the Y Wing. Because yeah, they still, yeah. I think the other half of them are, still haven't reached. I think people are still waiting for the other, what, 30 or 40 of them to go out? Yeah. Yeah. And that's a low number. That's 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 in the low teens. Um, now his, what, his was that you got? His, it's under 20. Yeah. It's, it's a low, it's a low number. Um, so he's only had it for, <laughs> he's, <laughs> he finally gets the thing, huh? And then, uh, yeah, he's only had it for a couple weeks, but, um, it, it was just a good it, to be able to swoop all those up and and you know in one buy and not have to wait be able to get them all at once it, it, that was just a good you know the only thing i'm concerned about is the snow trooper um it's a signature edition but the the you know the vinyl on the face has a lot of small like indentations it's not as smooth as i'd like it to be what's odd so i, I look at your images i look at steve's images and you guys have a little bit more of a smoother um you know vinyl mask it's not as distressed looking but when i looked at the sig the another signature edition online it looked like somebody had taken like the tip of a pen and just kind of mm, interesting so I, yeah so I don't, I don't know i i like it a little bit smoother but you know what i would question though jason it especially with that one is temperature of the room um the, the the environment it's been in right i mean it's it's like a vinyl thing that, that too so so on this part matt the nose part right yeah. that's underneath the mask it's like almost adhered to it but you can see the two so there's like those two indentations um i'm trying to figure out how i can so yeah, I, can go, like I, can, I can go up closer on mine if you want me to if you want to see yeah, that. so if you go like this on the nose, there's like two indentations. You can actually put your finger and, and feel them. This is like stuck right to it. Okay, interesting. Yeah, so it's it, I'm a little I don't know. I might reach out to them and see if they can replace it for a small fee or something like that. Because I do like the idea of this as a signature edition. Okay. And you, That's cool. you might just have the most famous Y wing helmet of them all. Going down on history. It's unbelievable. And no, it's interesting too. So after we worked everything out, and because I had bought so many, I actually got it ironically below retail. That particular one, which is crazy. Oh, really? Yeah. Well done. Well done. That's crazy, dude. So when you work the way the Good numbers work out, yeah, yeah. Well, with the oh, stress that's because that yeah, that's, that's because you got a bunch of other stuff, right? Yeah, I, I had bought a lot, so the way it broke down, um, it was below retail, which is good. So, yeah, do I, we, I, go ahead. Do we think that that Sideshow is going to do this stupid um, one thousand people? Oh, it's a Sideshow thing tomorrow. Yeah, I'm I'm like, over like, real that quick. was aggravating. Yeah, like, honestly, I mean, fuck them. I'm not. I'm not bothering going to. I'm never gonna try to get the codes. I'm not. I'm, gonna, I'm not some. I'm not some chimp that's trying to get a dollar for for doing a trick. <laughs> I'm gonna try it once. Two dollars to wait in line like a jackass. I'm, I'm gonna try it once, and if I have, if it, it gives me that same bullshit again, fuck that. That's just. That's awful. That's never terrible. saw something so absurd. A freaking. You got a. What's absolutely going to be a timed. Yeah. A, a timed code. To have to go to try to get that code and then hit an, I had a nine minute wait ahead of me. And be the first thousand to get it. Sideshow. You want to hear something even worse? I was just to top that off. So, um, you guys know into the books. We talk about that a lot, very much into the books. Um, Steve, we just recently talked about Sculpting the Galaxy. So, I decided to go for the uh, limited edition one and got it in from Sideshow recently. And they packaged it with a Sideshow gift card. As like a like a little thank you. Uh -huh. So I'm like, all right. 
and it's kind of random. It could range anywhere from like five dollars to fifty dollars. Like punch it in, and they're like, "Sorry, this gift card has expired." You're kidding me! I'm like good old side always delivering, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping they have something fun to look at tomorrow, though. At least. So that came from so the Sculpting of Galaxy. Where did you buy it? So I already had the book, but I opted for the um, the limited edition that comes with like a DVD. Did you um, buy it new, new or retail? Like uh, retail. New or, uh, sorry, new. I uh, sorry, old. You used the retail. Seems to me that if you just bought that retail, why couldn't you just call Sideshow or you tell them, "Hey, look, I just bought this." And the cards expired already. Well, I did it via the live chat, and they basically just said that they put them, I guess they inserted them during the like production of the books. And when they had inserted them, they said there was – and the thing is there's no expiration date on the card, but it says that. Like there's no promise as to when this will expire. It was uh, – I wasn't losing sleep over it, but I was a little annoyed. Hmm. Can we – um? Can we do something to um, ruin the lives of anybody else who puts a thumbs up on the next Tashi Station um, <laughs> rewards chat? We well, you know it's why they're doing that, amazing right? Amazing people still do it. Those freaking why? Why are they doing that? Well, because um, they a lot of people the the chat is going into their spam box. And you can't get it out unless you. What's a spam box on Facebook? I don't get that. There's a different set of messages that if you're not like friends with somebody, it ends up showing oh. up in there, and it's hard to find those sometimes. And it just oh keeps coming God. up as a as a notification, but that's it. Mm -hmm. So Tashi Station allowed people now to give a thumbs up so they could answer it and get it into their. But what they should have done is a thumbs up to the comment, not a separate thumbs up everywhere else yeah that's a good point yeah right Chris, you just you just solved you have no idea what you just did for me so i was like making deals i was interacting with people and then all of a sudden i'm like these are like legitimate people that are you know good reputation the community falling off the face of the earth and i'm like what's going on yep. but i wasn't friends with them and i couldn't see their messages in my so i gotta go dig is it easy to find i gotta go dig into these nah, messages nah. jason it was probably just you <laughs> yeah they just didn't want to talk to you man yeah. No, no, no. I'm, I'm serious because one of the guys even like PM'd me and like the, the, you know, not PM'd me, but like replied to a comment. And I, I told him, I was like, I have no idea where, where your messages went. Is that why you didn't answer me for so long when we were talking about things? It could have been, yeah. <laughs> no, the, I told <laughs> you why I didn't answer you. Yeah. Yeah. I Jason, don't you don't have to lie to make friends. You know that, right? <laughs> we are your oh, friends. No, trust me. Trust me. I don't, I don't, I don't need these guys as friends, but. <laughs> I definitely, I definitely want to buy that shit. <laughs> We're your friends. We're your friends, Jason. That's right. We don't talk about you on any other chats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. The only, <laughs> the only reason you know we are your friends is because we do talk about you behind your back. <laughs> and it's hey, we, you won't, you won't be friends if you didn't get uh, if someone didn't talk shit about you, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, which one goes in which? Are they, are they? Specific keys for yes, so you, you still haven't learned. You still haven't it's, learned. It's Where the, it going, the, Chris, it's the small one in the the small one's closer to the figure. <laughs> okay, is there a direction that it's supposed to go? I out away from him. Looks like a smaller hole. Yeah, you would think <laughs> one would smaller think hole bigger than the other one. You think you would think that? How many is it take to learn that? Yeah, make sure you put it in the right hole. No, nah, I'll put whatever hole I want. Damn. All right. So is there angle? They're angled. It angles to to your right. Yeah. Okay. Away from you. Away from the figure. Oh, push that in. If it doesn't fit, force it. Damn. Good lesson. Good lesson you got to teach your kids, I guess. <laughs> well, there's a fig. Never mind. I'm not gonna say it. Now I'm getting too crass. Never mind. <laughs> 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 He's about to cross the line in it. Yeah, I was. I was. And yeah. I slammed on the brakes. I'm looking for these mystery messages now. Is anybody have these going extra hard? Like they're, they're yeah. really struggling yeah, yeah. to get those suckers in there. Yep. But you got it in, and that's what's important. <clears throat> um, <gasps> Aramish is saying, what, 
what's everyone's opinion on the hot toys mando and uh yeah it's i love i love it it's freaking it really, it really is very very nice the materials they use for all the the clothing and stuff are really really nice um the only thing i don't like is the footsteps on the base i don't like when they put footsteps on the base neither do i i hate that i always feel like i need to put the feet in there when they do yeah. that and it and it's annoying to me so so the but, the they angle out that far huh yeah well, Chris, you you're right. I have, I have about 10 people to respond to. So if you go to under the profile and message request, there's both a spam folder and a you may know folder. And a lot of the messages that I was missing are in there. Listen, the rest of us already know this, Jason. So. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> I'm not, I don't do I'm the whole screw media you. thing. I'm, I'm screwing with you. Uh, no, seriously, I was starting. I was starting to wonder about that. It, it is. So I was crazy. like, "Hey, I'm, I was like, I'm losing out on some good deals here. What's going on?" And you can't, you can't see those very well unless you answer. Yeah, they're like hidden. I'm really yeah, so it's confirmed. Tom says right here, just 10, 10 rank cores left. As of right now, even. Well, no, just I don't uh, know what that, but. That was before we started, yeah. And of course, there's always going to be that one extra person. Like, do you ship to the UK? <laughs> he must. He must want to pull his hair out with that, huh? Yeah, he's so. What he, you know, can only do what he, he's allowed to do, you know. So, I can't blame the guy. No, not at all. Just, I mean, you can only answer the same question so many times. So, Chris, uh, Brian Hall. Has the pole over shooting and grabbing the rifle? It looks pretty. Uh, looks pretty badass. Yeah, that's what I think I'm gonna do. Is it Brian? Brian I like that a lot. Brian yeah, Walker? I like that a lot. On he nailed it. Um, he is on. Um, I'm just seeing it on Sith podcast. That's what it's coming up under. But okay. I'm well, sure it's in some of the other groups. Yeah, that's really cool. Steve. Any word on the rifle that you, the Mandalorian rifle? Have you heard anything lately about that? I'm no, just thinking about that, actually. I haven't. I find a lot of these people that say, oh, we're still in pre-production, yada, yada, yada. Um, Never happens. Yeah. I. As soon as you said, yeah, we're in pre-production, I'm like, okay, so it's going to be a long time. If at all. Yeah. question is if it actually gets made. Hey Chris, what do you think about the helmet, dude? This one, the uh, the stormtrooper helmet. It's awesome. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that was the one thing I was when it first was uh, advertised. Yeah, I saw the blood and it looked really bright. This is not bright blood. This no, is really old cool. blood. Yeah, I like it. It is very, very. It definitely makes the piece look a lot better. Well, I mean, it looks great to begin with, but yeah, it's just it's cool. I like it. I think they did a great job with this thing, man. Now this detonator does that go on his belt, the red one? Um, I don't want to take it out because I'm gonna end up losing it. Does the fob go on his belt? Yeah. So there's yeah. So there's one detonator missing on the the thing that can go on yeah. his belt. Is there a space for the fob? Um, no, I think that's supposed to go on his hand, isn't it? Well, yeah, but I mean, like, can you put it on his belt if you're not putting it in his hand? You guys are going for the um, the biker scouts, right? The Mando biker scouts. Hell those yeah, two. absolutely. Yeah. I'm really curious to see how those those bikes are going to stand. I don't they're know. Gonna, I'm not sure if I am or not. They're going to be way better than cool. the sideshow one for sure. I've been having a hard time uh, trying to sell the hot toys. I just, I really, really enjoy them. I really do. I like them a lot. But um, I put my snow troopers all there, and this guy was really serious about buying them. But man, like I don't know if he was intentionally intentionally trying to lowball. But he was giving me offers of like five eighty for the two pack. I'm like, a single one is selling for that much. And I'm not trying to get rich off these things, but five five, you know, with shipping that that's close to what they were retail for the double pack. Yeah. So I mean, I just, I told did you, him, I don't did you just did you just say no? I mean, it's not like it's that hard, right? No, well, I, I upped it a little bit, and I said, look, I'm not trying to, you know, sell these like eBay prices, but I can't let it go for what I, you know, twenty dollars over retail when one figure is selling for four fifty to five hundred, 
And then, yeah, he didn't want to go beyond the six, so I just dropped it. I just told him it wasn't a good fit. Yeah. They're just too nice of a figure. I, read the, I, read, I just brought the key. No, I hear you. Just drop the piece. Um, so are any of you getting the Darth Maul or the um, Coruscant Trooper? Um, probably. Uh, probably. Are you really? I don't actually. You know what? I don't think I'll get Darth Maul. I pro will probably end up getting. I think I'll probably get some of the troopers. I don't know. It depends on what is coming out, what I have going on at the time. To be honest, I, I like I, think, I like all the Clone Wars stuff. I think it, they're really really nice. I think and with the release of that red clone trooper, that red Coruscant trooper, that that means they're going deep. Well, dude, listen. That's this line. That line looks like it's going to be like Rogue One style. Like, oh, it's going to pass that, dude. Really they're, nice. They're going to take their time on these things. They're look. They're going to look really good. It's going to be a great line. So that 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 course and trooper is is deep. You know, it's it's. I don't know. I'm hoping to see a Jesse tomorrow. To be honest with you, that's what I want. Do you think we'll get they, another Star Wars release that quick? I don't know. They're doing this the sideshow thing tomorrow, so it's probably going to be. Oh yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, we're going to have probably at least one or two hot toys announced, <laughs> and yes. maybe a statue. I hope so. Ahsoka. Hmm. No. Don't, don't get me too excited. I hope so. <laughs> I'd love. I look. I I think we. I think we might see another mythos statue. Um, possibly. Um, I, I don't think so. You don't think, I think so? It's gonna be a, I think it's going to be a quarter. They, they just, what, four of them now? They did? They've had four of them out now, right? Yeah. I don't think it's going to be another mythos. I think it's going to be a, a quarter scale. Um, the question The question is, if what are they? I mean, it's, it's the last two hot, the last two mythos statues have been uh, uh, Clone Wars era. So are they going to keep going with that? Like, are they going to make an Ahsoka? Um, you know, I, I don't see what, how they, I don't know. I, I just don't see how you don't make an Ahsoka. I don't get it. Um, but, but yeah, it'd be interesting to see if they do any premium format uh, Star Wars stuff, but, but you know, they're going to come out what they come out with tomorrow. That's probably it for the whole weekend. The whole week, they're not going to come out. With, yeah, because last time they didn't reveal anything new days after, did they? I don't know. For San Diego Comic Con? It was just everything was the first day they, and that was did, it. They did some new ones. They just didn't. I think Hot Toys came out with, didn't they come out with a, yeah. a couple new things? Yeah. The um, Anakin and, and Sideshow didn't. They had Anakin and Obi Wan, but then so, then um, Hot Toys came out with the staff. Anyway, Anakin. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can see them I can see them coming out with some sort of um with with something some some premium format stuff since they showed the Mandalorian. They're gonna show the Mandalorian statue mm -hmm. there. I would love them to do some more Mandalorian stuff, but I don't know. Um what time does that start? Uh last time it started at didn't it start at seven uh pacific time seven or eight okay. pacific time i think so yeah should be around there i would think um but i don't know we'll see i mean be interesting people in the chat what do you guys think they're gonna make they're gonna show because that'd be it's interesting um i forgot we were still live <laughs> yeah we're hanging out elvis says i think they'll stop with airborne Utapau Trooper and Obi Wan plus the battle droid. What? He doesn't think, he doesn't stop think they'll stop the Clone Wars? Yeah, yeah. He doesn't think they'll go much further than that. They'd be dumb too. I, I, dude, I don't see how they don't make like clones. Yeah, they're just gonna go every clone possible. I don't see how they don't. 
Like if well, it was I think just, it's going to be like the new Iron Man. I think they're just going to go all in. I agree. If it was, if it was just the five hundred first that came out, and the you know the the deluxe one, and what was the other clone they came out with? They came out with two clones before this one. Um, uh, Cody and Rex. Cody Rex, the five hundred first. But because they came out with that Coruscant trooper, that's when I think that's made me think they're going to keep going. Yeah, why would they stop? Yeah, there's, there's no, no reason to stop. Right? Nope. As long as they're making good sales on these. <clears throat> and I don't think that they would have listed the Coruscant guard if they weren't making sales of all these other guys. If anything, that was the one that... They could have went, easily stopped because it wouldn't yeah. make a lot. Right? Yeah. The thing that sucks, though, is that 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 box is just a sleeve that goes over the the uh, sharp. yeah, but yeah. right. I mean, you it would have really been, have it have been cool thing. if they had like put like a fake head inside. Yeah, it was a little so, misleading. I thought it was going to be like a something more significant. Well, you could take your if you had the deluxe mall, you could take his second head and put it in there. Yeah, I suppose you just have to build some sort of mount or something. Yeah, okay. just put some tissue paper down or something so it stays propped up. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool looking. I can't wait to pose this sucker. He looks yeah. great. I don't know he what does. I'm he looks great. Too, but he's gonna look he's gonna look good next to that helmet. Mm hmm That helmet is exactly like this one. I know. Uh, e even like the the weathering and stuff. Even the, the shitty ears. Even the shitty fingerprints that yeah, there's probably a fingerprint in there too. Texans put on on the helmet. Are you guys glad you didn't get the EFX? You guys, you guys happy that you got the Innovos? No, oh, I, I like the Innovos. I like the Innovos. Yeah. I don't like no. the look of the 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 EFX. Doesn't I don't know? It just looks weird to me for some reason. The ears are too rounded. They're not as detailed. The middle, the the mohawk is like I don't know. It's like stunted. It looks Which too way? thin. It looks too Which thin. The EFX, EFX uh, Mando okay. helmet. It looks a little too yeah. thin for me for some reason, but I don't know. Maybe in person it would look good. I saw a picture of it the other day. It had a like really. Isn't that the one that had all the problems with the too much weathering? I don't know. The one I saw had a lot of weathering, like, a lot of like like off the Mohawk. The weathering was about a half inch, an inch wide. Oh, mm. like blown up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Says, hey Matt, there's a links is links saying there's a hole in the cape where you can push the loop through so that so you can hold the Mando's pulse rifle. Oh, okay. Is that what's going on? I heard Chris tell you that. Yeah, well, I know there's a loop, but there's there's also in the back. It, it, do you see it in the back, Chris? Do you see? Yeah, this? it has that slot where you can put the 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 rifle through. Yeah, and it sticks out up here. Yeah, and it's the through, opposite. Through to here. It's opposite. Yeah, I have it. I have it the opposite. I think. Where it needs to, it needs to, it needs to be over top of the cape, up top here, and underneath below, is what it needs to be. I think. I can have it the opposite. Good shout. I'll I'll change that. Um, I was wondering what that was back there. I didn't know what that was. Um. Oh, there's a loop there. Okay, on the belt. Yeah. Yeah, so That's, it goes, oh. it goes on top on the the cape up top, and then it goes through the hole, in yep. through the loop, and then underneath the cape. Yep. Um, hey Matt, do you mind zooming in either on your screen or, or Chris's screen real quick, just so I can take a better peek? Uh, here, one second. Are you thinking about getting this, uh, Jason? Oh no, I've been waiting for mine. I already have it on order. You gonna get this this and the statue, huh? Well, I didn't. I wasn't expecting the statue. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that looks that looks fantastic. It I can't nice. believe that. So this is the yeah. opposite, right? This is supposed to be on top here. Yeah. It goes through okay. the hole, and then there's like this loop thing here, this little loop thing that it goes yep. through on and goes to the bottom. So I got to fix that. Um, but it's cool, man. It's it's the the helmet looks oh, really he looks nice. looks fantastic. He looks really good. Looks really good. Oh, right there, he doesn't like on the screen. He doesn't look all that the the. The cloth doesn't look textured, but in person, it's like it's textured. It looks it's pretty crazy. solid. Yeah, it's really good. 
and the cl- and the cape is really nice too. It's a really nice. Yeah, cape. like oh. the material. It's, it's like really it's like suede almost, thin yeah. suede. Yeah. Did a damn good freaking job on this sucker. Yeah, nice, like holes at the, nice holes at the bottom. Yeah, this and is the what fraying. You guys, that uh, that that custom you guys got the statue doesn't have a, the best uh, cape, huh? No, yeah, but I did that to it. I, I frayed it and put holes in it. Okay. Still, still, I think you need to get a third party cape. I hope he's yeah. It definitely needs a, it. Definitely needs a custom for the custom for sure. I think this is. I don't know if they've done cloth capes before with their statues, but. Um, yeah, they need to uh, step up their game there. That's like the one area that I would say needed to be. Needed See, to be did you notice um, one of the earlier proto picks had a sculpted cape and it looked phenomenal? It looked fantastic. Oh, did it? Mm. Yeah, it did. Um, it was only in one or two shots, and I thought they were going to go with it, but yeah, uh, probably for poten- I, the potential I, of breaking. Yeah. Or, I, I um, like it either way. Uh, so this is how Link uh, has it set up. Better. This is how Link does it. Did his, I think, where. It's actually See, the whole thing's out. This makes more sense because, dude, if you have your rifle going through your cape, oh, I know yeah. it would be it'd be hard to get it, the damn thing out quick. And then the uh, yeah. strap comes over top and pegs into his ban- his uh, bandolier. Hey, hey guys, did your did your figure come with directions? <laughs> yeah, I just didn't. I don't think I've ever once looked at those. Just directions. curious because your answer might be in there. <laughs> pretty damn freaking cool. We haven't done a Hot Toys unboxing in how long? I know. For the Rogue One Six group, Hot Toys unboxing. Matt used to do them all the time. You used to do what? Hot Toys unboxing. Yeah. I used to do them in Facebook, though. Yeah. I did them all. I did most of them in Facebook. Yeah. Um, I think one person that's been consistent is Steve, which is ne- he's never done them. I've done two now. I've done two. Oh, okay. Okay. You did an unboxing? One of them? I did this one tonight. (laughs) And there was one, there was one I did impromptu also on this show, maybe, and which might have been the last one we did. Yeah. This is like a gang a gang unboxing. Commander Gantz. Yeah, we got there. Perfect. Wow, he's got better memory than me. Yeah. We got we got hey, hey, listen, we gotta do more gang unboxings. Because (laughs) it's it's a good time. Is, I is, don't is like that, that like a dance move? The Gangnam boxing? No, no, no. It's much worse. It's much worse than that. <laughs> we do a, we do, we, we do a Gangnam style. <laughs> oh, I really don't like how that goes over it's there like that. Much worse than that. Um, Doesn't fit right. I'm actually trying to see if they have any any ETA on mine. Because I always do the I always do it where I do the deposit, and then when it's ready to charge, yeah, that I looks go good. My, that looks good. I like that. We should be angled more though, but I plan on putting it in his hand. That's killer. Yeah, nothing. Yeah. You gonna put it next to the helmet, Chris? No, nah, I don't. I don't. I don't mix things like that. I I keep all my hot toys together and all my mm. helmets together. And no, it's gonna. I can't wait to put it with IG Eleven. To be honest with you, um, so you're a collectible segregationist. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Here and end. Yeah. <laughs> Not okay. even gonna deny it. Okay. All right. That's uh, I, I, politically... When I saw them in in New York Comic Con, it was him and IG eleven and they just look so great together. Like I've mm. I gotta display them together. Yeah, okay. Like you, still, IG... you still have a whole shelf of Marvel stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I do. A whole bunch of that stuff too. We're getting two Marvel pieces probably next week. Oh, that's cool. That's something you won't see unboxed on this channel. <laughs> what do you get? <laughs> uh, Spider Man twenty ninety nine and Red Spider. Oh, okay. Red you Iron should, Spider. Actually, you should open that on a group on a group therapy in the background. Just for and Steve. We'll just, yeah, we'll just let you. Yeah, we'll just let you open. Just for Steve. We're talking yeah. about Marvel's shit. I can do that. Um. Well, me and Chris are talking today. We're getting Steve a Funko Pop. Q90. Oh, Dude, I that Q90 is too. fantastic. I bought a Funko Pop too. Yeah, I gotta go get him. Hold on, I gotta go get him. No, no. <laughs> if, we, no. Steve, if we send no, you one, we'll get them all. I gotta get him. <laughs> I'm gonna get him. Steve, you you wouldn't display it if we sent you one. What's that? 
So yeah, if you were gifted a Funko Pop from the group, you wouldn't display it? Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 boy, that would have to be a very deliberate effort on my part. To yeah, it was the um, what's his name? Q, the Q90, the Mandel uh, Beetle Droid. There, he looks fantastic. Mandel Beetle Droid. He's in the he's in the Mandalorian when they go into the um, the prison break. He's the one flying the Razor Crest. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, me and Chris talk about it. I want to get rid of him. And he's like, oh, I grabbed the Funko Pop of that. I said, we got to get a single Funko Pop, see if it displays it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be a snob. You're looking really fuzzy there. I think you're breaking up. I don't, don't know be a snob. I don't know if you'll be able to. This here yeah. is the only Funko Pop that I own. Come on. He looks good. He looks like, good. It just makes it look good because his eyes are so bulbous. Like, I'll never buy another Funko Pop again. But <laughs> this, I love this design of him. It's just so cool. Chris, how was that vintage figure design, huh? Was that awesome? That was cool, yeah. Was it vintage that you sent yeah, me? Yeah, vintage style, yeah, 5P away. Oh, I thought it was a six-scale figure. No, so he does He does the master 12 inches, and then when yeah. he, I don't know how ever he shrinks it down or whatever, but when he produces them, he does like an addition of 100 to 3.75 inch 5P away. Now, is this character a Death Star droid? I don't know. Is he an R R what, RA7? Is, that, is he a Death Star droid? He looks phenomenal. Like the Death, Death Star droid has more of a duck bill. He's got a uh, snow. Yeah. yeah. This and doesn't big, have a big brain. This doesn't have a duck bill. So Brian Hall uh, posted a, a photo of his um, his Mando pose. Yeah. Steve, you on the same live stream? It's a really good one. What well, was one minute ago? Oh, I thought that was the one. I'm sorry. I thought it was literally the one we were just talking about. That's why. Maybe, maybe he reposted. I don't know. It was like one, the post is one minute old. Um, so he's but, like holding a gun and pulling the other one? Um, like. It's resting more than pulling. Well, yeah, but he's got like both of them kind of almost in action. It looks yeah. great if that's the one. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I didn't see the other uh, one. Oh, I see it. Okay. That's I think cool. it's really good. Yeah. Uh, what's, but that, but the, the, Baby Yoda looks like crap. That, yeah, that's really out of place. That's like a quarter machine Baby Yoda. Oh, that didn't come with the thing? No. No. Oh, no, uh, no. I'm that's sorry, cool. Brian. I'm sorry, Brian. I'm like, that, is that the sideshow Baby Yoda? Does it look right? <laughs> <laughs> I have to find that. <laughs> sorry, Brian. <laughs> now, now I understand it's not meant to be a hot toy. Because <laughs> I'm like, that's not hot toy quality. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, like everybody seems to have gotten their Mando today. Every single person. There's yeah, like I'm always, 100 I'm always the last inside show. Man, I seriously got to get this room in order. It's driving me nuts. I get stuff in the bedroom. I get stuff in the kitchen. I get stuff in the living room. I got stuff everywhere down here because I'm selling stuff. So I got boxes of things. Like, oh, that reminds me. I got to pack of shit up tonight. There's a whole bunch of pictures. I'm trying to find the one. Doug's is good. Dougie Hall's is good. Brian Hall. I'm sorry. I know a guy named Dougie Hall. So. Uh, Dougie Fresh. You. It looks like um, Venom Pool and Stan Lee are coming out very soon. You guys get you getting that, Steve? Stan Lee, you said. Uh, Venom Pool. <laughs> <laughs> Skip the CZ3 bus and get the Venom Pool. I don't know if you guys are getting tired of me sending you pictures of, of these these uh, people selling certain things. I get such a kick out of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It makes me laugh hysterically. I Did you guys see what I said? And I, 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 I retracted because I know that would, you know, we'd end up with our foot on mounds, but that would be a like top five weekly. I'm gonna see the prices of the most. It, it, it brings you back to when um the shock team. Remember the shock team you found on eBay, Steve? 
Yeah. I, I still can't get over how bad that was. You know, that's, so it just made me think. Like, no kidding. That was a legit 12-inch um, figure from Hasbro. Yeah. Yeah, that, back in 90, in 2000. I can't too. believe how bad it was. Though. I mean, yeah. it was so bad. Steve, I sent a picture of, that Dan Lee po of Dan Lee's post. Okay. Pose. I can't show anything on the screen right now because you get it. Everything that has text on StreamYard and my entire Chrome browser is is I can't see any text at all. My Chrome has gone haywire. Is it because you're using a um, iOS nine on a? I have to say, ever since Steve, remember when I was having trouble with my my internet? And you busted on me. Ever since then, you've had trouble with your laptops and internet. <laughs> since then, ever uh, since. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you do. Nope. No, I have no clue. No idea. <laughs> Matt said the best. Like, this is America. If you don't have good, internet, what the fuck are you doing? It? True, man. They're not a third world country. Come on now. Call it Walmart internet. <laughs> Running water and internet. A Walmart connection. Um, let's see. I like Dan Lee's. Yeah, I'm sharing this right now. Here's Dan Lee's. <clears throat> Very cool. I, I that. like that. I like that. Got like a good like, lean. Who's go there? Yeah, who goes there? Pose. I like that. That's that's pretty much like I remember. There's a scene in the show where he's exactly like that. Like he's like kind of leaning and shooting and pulling his rifle out at the same time. Yeah, I may I like have to say, steal like your your uh, pose there, Dan. Yeah, it's nice. Um, I think Link sent me another pose. Let me see here. Hey, did anybody see that 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 picture that Sideshow posted today of the Geralt in the the bathtub? No. I saw it, yeah. Oh my god, that thing is just Are we talking about like a an art print? You know Witcher, right? You yeah, know yeah. The, the Witcher? Yeah. It's like a seventy dollar figure and it's basically Geralt laying in a bathtub with his arms and legs hanging out of the thing. Yeah. It's who makes it inside? It, oh, no, I don't know. Maybe it was, oh, it was a gentle giant, maybe? I don't know. It was just utter crap. I'll see if I can find it. Yeah, see if you can find page. it, because that's funny. Oh, it was, it was bad. Let me unshare this one and stop. Oh, let me see. Did it was so bad, it would, it would count towards... Uh, Towards what um, Jason was just saying about. Okay, he does know his trigger finger. I'm going to steal Dan's pose. Here's another link. Uh, Nick sent this over as well. Which is cool. I mean, is. You, can, you can do some cool other stuff. All with right, it. I'm going to send you this, this, this link, Matt. Okay. Matt, does that um that thermal detonator like magnetic go on his um, belt? I don't know. Oh, the, the thermal detonator, it does. Yeah, you can you can slot it in there, kind of. Okay. Busy night, here. busy night. I don't know about hey, the whole thing. He's supposed he's holding. I don't know what that. Is. I've got an entry for you, uh, Jason. Uh, Matt's gonna pull it up here in a second for for crappy figures, and this is brand new. This isn't something from ten years ago. This is, this is released today. This is actually a one-to-one -one prop that he, he thought you'd like. Yeah. And me? Um, All right, now I can't take you guys serious, but hit me. Yeah. It's a maquette. It's a maquette from the from the show. No, yeah, but it's like it's got it's. I mean, it's got lineage though. So you'll, <laughs> All right. You'll like it. It's got some hard. It's got some hard lineage. We're doing this live too, right? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> this thing what? should be. Is that a Mickey? Is that a Mickey Mouse on his lap? Or a sea lion or something? This, should, this thing should be ducky. shot. This thing should ducky. be shot several times and burned with fire. <laughs> Wait, and melted. You, you were, that's for sale on sideshow. It just came out yeah. today, man. What? This thing should that's be melted down ducky? to make other things. Who made that? One of their interns? Dark Horse Comics. 
That is atrocious. All right, see, this I don't mind shitting on because we're not going to hurt anybody's feelings. Oh, this is well, maybe horrible. the sculptor, but. This is horrible. <laughs> That's like, you know, when you go like to the dollar store and they got like, those bootleg, like, G.I. Joes and, like, Starmen instead of, like, Star Wars? It reminds me, like, one of those guys. Oh, like, look at the rubber ducky peeking out of his pocket. <laughs> That's that's the water. He's he's laying in water. This is from the show. This is from the show, The Mitcher, and his name is Mitch. <laughs> hey, Mitch, how are you doing? Mitch, Mitch is taking a bath. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, God, he doesn't even fit in that thing. Look at that. Hey, but you Holy know what? It's got shit. lineage. I'm all over it. This lineage and signature. Signature edition of lineage. I'm all that's, for it. Yeah, that that's uh that was used. That was a uh, screen used. Yep. Screen used. Screen was the rubber ducky screen used? Mitch, sign, Mitch is going to sign it. I think the back, the bo the bottom of it. <laughs> oh man, oh, Chris is awfully Terrible. quiet. <laughs> Chris is ordering it right now. That's because I have it on order. Because <laughs> like hundred reward points do I have? <laughs> Seriously, what is it? I want to see what's in the comments. What's that GIF? What's it saying? What's the guy doing? What the blonde hair? Oh, this one. He's saying, he's saying, what the, what the, f yeah, <laughs> I s <laughs> freaking hilarious, man. That is atrocious. That looks like it came out in 1980, huh? For today's standards. And it's, if you go to Sideshow's site, it's 70 bucks. It's like, <laughs> it's a good day. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Yeah, they sh the shipping's probably 30 bucks. Are those supposed to be flames? <laughs> Stain castles or candles or something. Dude, I had to I had to translate this, but it says this guy tagged this guy and he it was some other language. I translated it says I only buy if they make the water transparent. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead if you read the um if you read what they wrote about it at Wisizer's website, originally an in-game scene, in-game scene turned internet meme. Turn CD Project Red April Fool's joke. The demand that this brought to oh, life so from the on became too great to bear. So this was a video game joke, I guess. I mean, oh, it was in the show. Right. It was in the show, right? It wasn't he. He was doing the shit in the show, right? He was taking. I remember him there. taking a bath in the in the in the yeah. movie in the in the TV or the, whatever the. Netflix. I don't think there was a rubber ducky though. <laughs> <laughs> it's atrocious. Oh, you know what? God. This right here looks like he just jizzed on the side of his 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 uh his freaking thing. Oh, okay, a bunch of times. do you guys know Over his shoulder? <laughs> Look at that. How funny it would be to do like a weekly top five or so? Come on, I, but we'd have to hurt some feelings. That's the only problem, and I don't think I can I know, do. That's it. the only problem. Do they really think somebody's gonna buy this thing? I bet you people do. Maybe man. it's a joke. Maybe it's a joke tomorrow. Look, if yeah. people buy those those dolls that that Jason likes the, with the weird ears, <laughs> cause you mean the twenty thousand dollar cause? Yeah, I'm just kidding, just kidding with you, Jason. No, I know a lot of people. A lot, I usually get one or two people are like, "Oh my god, that's my grill." Or people are like, "What the hell is that?" I was fully expecting you to talk about the zombie cosplays on on from Hot Toys. That that's why when you said it about his stuff. I, Floor me. <laughs> this is definitely some cause shit though like like this is something someone will show someday and be like hey i bought this thing it's really expensive now and it's like you know and never, no one will understand it just like the cause yeah it's like the banksies on my wall people are like <laughs> oh what are those things and i'm like yeah. yep oh man well, people, man, don't, people don't remember that you, you you were able to buy those things for 75 bucks a piece you know they weren't what yeah. they were today that's some realistic scarring, guys. I mean, this thing, this thing is <laughs> that detail. That's that's regal robot that's quality super, right there. Super detail. I mean, they got they got they even his bottoms of his feet have been done right. That rubber that rubber ducky kills me. Oh my god, that kills me. <laughs> Man, uh, yeah. I mean, if it's if this is just a fun funny thing, then yeah, I, I get it. But... Yeah, but it's it should be what a waste of time and resources. It should be like fifteen bucks. And you get it at, the, at one of those stores in the mall or something. Yeah, right? eighty-eight bucks is pretty bad, right? Eighty <laughs> bucks? Come on, guys. Hey, it's somebody's time and resources, you know. Somebody took the time to sculpt that piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, you don't get any switch outs. You should get a switch out for the rubber ducky. <laughs> 
<laughs> one of those rubber duckies with a mohawk. Exactly. <laughs> Something's uh, tipping over the rubber ducky. Little surprise, little surprise coming up from the bottom. See, when shit gets real, this is when you know, like, behind behind the scenes, like two or three of us get together, buy it, and like shit to Steve, but I don't know or vice yeah. versa. <laughs> that, that's how you really, you know, fuck with somebody. I tell you what, though, Chris, Chris said he was gonna buy me that that uh, Queen Studios Harley uh, Quinn bust. I'll take it. Says it my <laughs> way. That thing looks nuts. I, you know, what? I'll joke aside for Arthur Fleck, that Joker base. Wow. That Joker piece is it's incredible. It is absolutely It's the amazing. best looking ordinary dude I've ever seen. Oh, it's it's, it's the base. The, the idea for that base where he's doing his makeup. Oh my god. Yeah. That Harley is oh god. I would buy that. If if it didn't stand out so much in my collection, I would buy that. Queen Studios. Oh, I don't know if I'm part of Queen Studios. Go on Primo Collectibles. There, they have a lot more pictures of it because they were at the some some show some yeah, show look at out that. there. That's crazy. Can you imagine the damage to the wallet if we were into this stuff too? Forget it. Yeah, this is Alita's eye. One of one of one of her eyes, I think. Wow, that's crazy, man. That Alita is pretty great too. Now, is that a second one or? Isn't there is there two different versions? The one where she has like one arm up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is a different version. That base is, this, is cool too. I think this is this might be a half scale. It looks yeah no. It, it looks one smaller one here. Oh really? It says one dot dot one. Oh. Which in translation so like the means same one to one. The same company makes two versions. I know there's another one. There's like Infinity Studio and a Queen Studio. The size yeah, of Steve. Thanos. What? <laughs> the, the, That's the some clothing, dress, huh? The clothing choices. Interesting oh choice of clothing. That's some dress. Dude, look how big that Thanos is. That's ridiculous. That is unbelievable. That looks like it would be four boxes. Seriously. It has to be. The like head, a box for the arm the and arm. Then the chest. It's a life-size gauntlet you're getting too. It's crazy. It's unbelievable. Insane. If they, That's if they insane. start doing this, where they're insane. actually going to start making this base is crazy. When they're actually, if they're going to start actually making like arms and shit coming off of these things now, that's that's just <laughs> un, it's unbelievable. How much do you think that costs? <laughs> Four or five grand. I would think so, man. I would think so. The girl would have to come with it. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> I think your wife would be like, "What the hell did you buy?" <laughs> that thing is she doesn't phenomenal. speak English. I don't know. <laughs> she doesn't even speak English. What the even hell? better, <laughs> even better. <laughs> Please trade carefully. Um, look, even, look at the creases in his eyes. This dude, the skin. Yeah, this, this thing had me thinking for a second. It really did. I almost went over to. Uh... My my son was begging me to buy this thing. This is cool. Look at that right dude. there. That right there is phenomenal. It's another statue inside of the base, dude. That's crazy. It's a statue within a statue within a statue. Yeah, it's, like a nest, it's like a Russian He's nesting doll. On the stairs. Yeah. It's like a Russian nesting doll. The statue that keeps on giving. It's unbelievable. It lights up. Look at him dancing. So sick, dude. And look in the front there, right there, there's a, a lamppost on yeah, the street. Right lamp, right. Dirty old Brooklyn <laughs> staircase. It's and look amazing. At, Right above it, there's some graffiti on the on on, on the bottom. D O R. I can't tell what the rest of it says. This says "Happy Face" right here. That says "Don't." I think. Don't. Yeah. Um. Wow, that's a. I'm not a amazing. big fan of this right here. The way that what? I feel like there should should be something coming up that covers this kind of like wrinkled mess down at the bottom. Yeah. Oh, um, like right at the right. Yeah, it just the like they like folded it over and set it down on top of it. So I don't. It's know. like a bad tuck. Yeah. It looks like it plugs in too. Look at there's a cord. There's no batteries. Yeah, in it. Right here. yeah, yeah. It's it's in for sure. Man. Yeah, that thing's, that thing's unbelievable. You know, people are gonna be going bananas for that. Absolutely. That's so, DC fans. That's their chewy. Guess how much that, that that costs that Joker? How much? Six. Six what? Six. No, 35, I'd say thirty-five hundred. It's 
30, yeah, 34 40 if you pay all at once. That's wow. crazy. Dude. All right, so it's close. 30, yeah, 35 so 40. That's about right. The Thanos has got to be six or more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Whoa. I don't Holy like cow. that one as much as the other one. This is crazy, dude. The hair looks bad. Well, they've got to they got to adjust the hair a little bit, but my god. Wow. <laughs> they give her freckles. Steve, Steve says my god. I the first picture was I was trying to figure out was that her or not. Like that one. It's crazy. Is the is the hairline too high? I don't know. Yeah, I don't it, it looks a little receding. Well, maybe it is now. Steve, maybe it is now. That's too bad. It's too bad for you. It's too bad for you because I know Margot isn't isn't doesn't have no receding hairline. Oh no! I was just <laughs> she does down you know a little further down south, but she ain't got no receding hairline up top. I'll tell you that much. Damn, uh, look, look at this. Is this the second one they did? Is this a new one? Yeah. I just didn't um. This is the Batfleck, right? Didn't um, didn't Mr. X just do a, a review of this? I tell you what, this is how to not take a picture of a bust. <laughs> yeah, it looks like somebody's pulling from behind. <laughs> it's freaking horrible. That's yeah, not is. how to take a picture of a bus. He looks like a dachshund. There. <laughs> yeah, he does. He does. He does. he does. he does a little bit. Dude, how funny is that? And and I'm sure it looks fantastic. Kind of expecting like a little wiener dog body behind him. <laughs> oh, that's so Matt, good. go on. Whoa, look at that. Yeah. Primo. Someone's doing, her, someone's doing her hair. Primo Collectibles has the Harley. That's crazy. <laughs> and they have the mirror too. Primo Collectibles. Primo Collectibles. What's what's the mirror, Chris? Mirror from um Oh Mirror. Okay. Mirror. I'm sorry. I did that last time, yeah. Mirror. I'm just I'm not I'm I'm not, I'm not up on my DC Primo. lore. This is crazy, dude. That's yeah. bananas. Bruce Lee, look at that. That's unbelievable. That is and he's got insane. sweat on him and all kinds of shit, dude. That's amazing. that's like that's that's getting to a point where like that's just, just too real. Yeah, look at how yeah. the hair is. It's just it's him. It's him. The, yeah, the, it's it's the like shirt is it's, at the some shirt. point at some point you're like, how is this person alive with half their body on a on a pedestal? Like the shirt, think, crazy. The shirt is like this, wrinkled. Yes. The shirt wrinkles and the dragon down on below. Like go through those pictures, Matt. All right, but nope. think about this. So, Matt, why are you scrolling through, right? Now, some of these people have passed. These look so real. Imagine being one of their loved ones and seeing that. Think about that. That would that would, yeah. that would hit you in some way. Yeah, it'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Well, that's a second one. Yeah. He's, getting, he's, one. Getting, a lot, he's is, getting a lot of limelight. This, though, I'll have to say, I there's another studio. There's Infinity Studio. Yeah. I think that's what this is. I think Infinity Studios is doing the Bruce Lee, I believe. Okay. So they're the ones doing the Mira. That's crazy. So wait, what's Look the controversy that. with her? I don't know what the controversy is with her. Do you know? Apparently, she abused Johnny Depp, like mentally, emotionally, physically. What? Abused him. That's... Oh, yeah. I read all about that. It's, yeah. Because uh, they were trying to say it was him at first. Yeah, they all thought it was him, but it turns out it was her. The recordings came up. She was a nut. Yes. Bag. Yeah, she's she's off the charts, man. Yeah, I mean, is so was is that why is that why he did all those Pirates of the Caribbean's because he was abused? He just wasn't making good decisions. Well, they were good movies. Yeah, they were good movies, but that was pretty deep. He went pretty deep on those, man. I don't know. But well, he was I, also he had a, he had some bills to pay. So yeah, that's probably true. I don't know, she dude. That's great. I did, I didn't know what was going on there. So yeah. Um. It's not, it's no joke, but that, that is a freaking, that is beautiful. Like I've seen close-ups of the cheek. Yeah. And there's, there's droplets of water on well, the cheek. And the lighting's not great. You can no, tell the lighting's lighting in this area is not this. that great. So. Does she look pale to you guys? Like well, that, pale? that's what I'm saying. I think the yeah. lighting's not great. So. The lighting, plus she was pale in the movie too. I think yeah, she gets seasick more <laughs> overly pale. I like the water effects on the bottom and around her wrist. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty great, dude. Now they're now it's not even gonna be bust anymore. We're gonna be like at some point we're gonna be like, hey, hey Tom, we don't want to bust. You got to add arms to this thing because everything's got arms now. Like mm -hmm. you got to add arms for the same price as it would be 
<laughs> as it would be a normal bus. Well, that's how Gentle Giants started out. They started crazy, with just bus man. with no arms. And yeah, then they and went then to arms. arms came. Yeah. yeah. Then from the decollege came the stomach. Yeah. Oh, geez. I love those water effects on her. Now that this the other one looks much better than this to me. It does, yeah. Can you imagine having a sad man as a clown, <laughs> as dressed as a clown on your shelf? What a how, <laughs> how depressed! <laughs> how depressed your life would be. Like you'd come into your room and be like, "He's." I feel like he looks right now, like all the time. It's crazy, man. I mean, you can hang out with these buffs if you ever get lonely. This over it. It's crazy, dude. This I could get. This one. This one's pretty. Yeah, I, I I would be open. My I would rather that. have a maniacal clown than a. Sad yeah, clown. no, I I hear you. <laughs> My wife doesn't want me going anywhere near like the life, like actual lifelike people. She thinks it's creepy. Like this is crazy, dude. This is crazy. <laughs> That's that, perfect. It's amazing. It's beautiful and it's creepy all at the same time. I mean, I know his hand is close to the camera. It looks like it's like three feet tall his hand does but but the way his shirt is laying it and and bunched up it looks yeah. absolutely it's perfect it's natural yeah, yeah. It's actual we'll it, yeah. the base is really cool too i like the base it's so sick yeah it's, it's we're gonna start having arms on all our bases now guys it's freaking or on our bus look at this shit i mean that's crazy that's it crazy is. Yeah. All right. So think about it. So look where we're at now. <laughs> Just think five years from now, technology wise. Yeah. Five years I from mean, now, we're... we'll be buying our third Queen Studio Star Wars bus. I, can you imagine? I don't want to see. Can you I imagine? Wow. <laughs> oh, too much sound. Jeez. Whoa. And because they specialize in, in faces. They would probably stay away from. I mean, not probably, <laughs> right? Stay away from the troopers and That's actually terrible. do. Find the Margo bust. What the hell is that? Was it Eddie? Was it Eddie Ford that posted? Video um, game is the guy, there's a guy on eBay that does the, like the Michael room. Jackson, Tupac, and he's got Luke's head. And I think he did Eddie. Did you see the, that post? Right. Eddie had the right. Sorry, sorry, sorry I'm, I'm hearing both you and Matt at the same time. Yeah, my apologies. No, I'm saying there's a guy on eBay that does these realistic heads. He has like a Tupac, a Michael Jackson, and he has a Mark Hamill. And I think Eddie Ford recently posted the Mark Hamill with uh, the X-Wing helmet on. It looks crazy. I haven't seen them. That's interesting. Okay. The yeah, it's, it's really it's realistic. But it's only like a head. And, oh, man. You know. Is her head small? It does it look small, man. It small. does. Right? Is it just yeah, the picture or what? Because I, I can't. No. I mean it that's something small. that's something Queen Studios will actually change because they do change their things. They fix them. So if they think it's small, they'll they'll fix it. But like everything else is unbelievable. And she um, looks too happy. She doesn't look very um her head's a little small. you know. Yeah. I think her neck and head is a tiny bit small, but other otherwise, I mean, is that is, is this a picture. wooden bat? Is this a wooden bat? Yeah. Like might just be the picture though. You know, no. It's a real gun too. <laughs> no <I'm> kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be amazing. Do we know if this is Queen Studios or Infinity? I don't know. You're, you're. I'm not sure. It could be Infinity. But so I think it's Infinity. Too. that's crazy, man. It's crazy. I don't think the face looks nearly as good as the other ones. Yeah, that's why I'm wondering if it's Infinity. I don't. The skin color doesn't look as good. I either. agree. I agree. I mean, I wouldn't kick it out of bed, but. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, look, it's it, it. It gives me the vibe. It gives me that shrunken head vibe a little bit, you know. Like that is. Um, that, I can confirm that is Infinium Studios. It is okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah, that explains. You got it. a little shrunken head going on there, but you know that's how Chris likes them. So whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I like the tattoo on her wrist, though. That looks cool. Oh, this yeah. The tattoos are crazy. Yeah. That is nuts, man. I thought they couldn't tattoo silicone. Kind of a cool base too. It's probably, I mean, just, painted on. It's probably just painted, but well, I mean paint. I, I thought they couldn't paint silicone really well. It's yeah. different. It's, it's definitely a difficult process. Maybe it's like a um, like an applique of some some sort. Good lord! Mm. Look at this! It's unbelievable. That looks like him. It's That's unbelievable. too real. That's too real. God. 
They, I wouldn't. I, I could be the big complete <laughs> fan. I wouldn't. I wouldn't display that. That's, they talked that's about. Just... They talked about this on DCX, and they're trying to get um, Rodney to buy this because it's like the, I guess Bruce Lee's his guy, and so they're trying to get him to buy it. It's pretty funny. If you're a Bruce Lee fan, you have to buy. You it. have to. <laughs> you have to. I mean, there's like sweat on him, and like. Even his hair is like wet from the sweat, like sticking to his face. Yeah, he probably smells like bo, dude. They probably went that went that that much step further. It's crazy. Look at this, dude. There's like sweat. Uh, like it's unbelievable. He's got like five like shadow, like yeah. beard shadow where he's shaved, but it, you can still see the color and his. Wow. I mean, it, it's probably punched, right? Like. Absolutely. Like rooted eyebrows and stuff. That's like, punched. Oh, that's definitely punched. Yeah. Especially the five o'clock shadow. Yeah. How did they do that? How did they, they probably do punched it long and then shaved them? Oh, yeah. you think so? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. There you go. Dude, can you yeah. imagine if that's your job? Holy shit. Gosh. You you punch all that hair and then you have to shave it all off to get to get a five o'clock shadow. That'd be crazy. Yeah, but, but there's even I mean, like they, little Bumps in his neck and stuff. It's crazy, man. You look at it after you've done it. It's like that's oh, yeah. freaking perfect. Yeah. It's Imagine if this if the bus got razor burn. <laughs> <laughs> crazy, right? dude. For extra level of realism, that's unbelievable. And I really do like the base. The base is sick. See, that's this is what I think that Joker's bus needs to have is something at the bottom that covers that to help cover that tuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah to help that, cover that tucks a little too. I mean, shit, dude. That's unbelievable. That's the best one. It is. It's the best. Easily. One. It's easy, but easily the best one. Here's the mirror again. There's not as much variation in her skin tone. No. But I, I would love. I'd like to see it up close. I'm sure you would too, Chris. I'm sure you'd like to see this up real close. And then, and then there's this this guy. I mean, they're starting to put that's in it. pretty wow, to put Jesus. amazing. <laughs> Look at that. That has to be huge, bro. I mean, Momo is pretty big. Look at the armor on that thing, dude. Look at his eyebrow. They got a scar in his eyebrow. Good. I think this one's 3,500 as well. I believe the price is really not bad. It, it is, it, it really is. It really is. Wow, not doing. considering what we, you know, for yeah, Chewy. I know. And all the all the detail that goes into these, I mean, it's I mean, a rain cork can fit in his hand. So, are these coming from uh, Hong Kong or Japan? Uh, uh, I don't know where Queen Studios is. I don't know where Infinity is either. I'm sure it's yeah. Because it's going to be a lot for shipping. Alita is pretty amazing too. I mean, mm -hmm. she had a full sword. Only one arm. Yeah, that's look cool. At her though. hair. Look, so at, cool. look at the sheen to her hair. Like it looks like net. Oh, wow. That's so cool. I love that. Nothing about that looks synthetic. I wonder if he smoked, he, like, you know, has like a scent, like a dirty ashtray. Oh, that yeah. That would really or, add a little realism to it. Huh? Would, or like, or like the paint, the makeup, the makeup, the paint, the clown makeup. Yeah. So, Dude, look at this chick. She's just hanging around the Thanos bus the whole time. Yeah. She, she can't get like away. She's 14 years old. Man. <laughs> she can't get away from him. Jeez. Yeah, dude, this thing is freaking huge. So you you think this you think this thing is going to cost 6,000? Five, 5 to 6? Yeah. More, more shipping for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, more easy. If I had a guess, I'd if I had to put a price on it, I'd say 8. Really? It's it's more than double the size of any other statue. I wonder if those infinity gems light up. Oh, that'd be cool. Why not? Well, look at the look at the hot toys. The Thanos hot toys is almost equivalent to the quarter scale Vader in size. Not quite, but almost. So if you're looking at the busts, he's gotta be three times, three and a half times the size of any other one of those busts. Gosh, it's impressive. Yeah, she looks way better here, dude. Whoa. Now imagine being the actor or the actress giving your likeness to this and seeing it in person for the first time. That's going to be a trip. Yeah. 
She looks way better here. Still, the lighting is not great. No, the lighting's not super great. No, if you're right. Mm -mm. But damn, dude, that's pretty amazing. I love the different colors and how her outfit looks. That one's really just like eye catching. Gosh, it's crazy. Oh, there's a couple different ones in here. There's a Superman. Gentlemen, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a night. Wow. It's been fun. It has been fun, Steve. You're right. And, and I will uh let's see, we got a show Friday night. So we'll do group, uh group therapy. I thought it was Saturday morning. No, that's gonna be so group therapy on Friday and then a creator spotlight on Saturday morning. Okay. Oh, is Rob doing a creator spotlight? I thought he was in group yeah. therapy. No, I'm I'm ninety percent sure it's creator spotlight. Oh, okay. You go on. Is that going to be live, Steve, or is that going to be recorded? No, I think we'll do. We'll record it, and then we'll we'll have Matt show off if he's willing to show off his editing skills. Those editing skills, ooh, those sexy editing skills. They're just cutting and pasting, like cutting and putting. Uh, that's a little sepia tone. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Star wipes. I can do right, it. I like those. I like those. All right, Steve. Night, dude. Can I see? Night, can I see? Yeah, man, this is this is crazy. He's old man, huh? Yeah, he's got to go. He's got to go. He's got to go. He's um, almost as big as Thanos. He's huge. He's huge. That's just too much. Ah, that's just too much. The way the beard is late, like one of those big bushy beards. It's crazy. Like my buddy has a beard like that, and it looks exactly like that. <laughs> <clears throat> It's crazy, dude. Like they're getting food in it. They're getting the likeness like spot on every time now. Some of these freaking studios, man. It's nuts. Yeah, it's nuts. I wonder if they're digitally scanning the uh, the actors on some of these. You know, this, somebody's got these. This doesn't look right. He doesn't look. He doesn't, doesn't look, look that look, good. Yeah, look at his face. <clears throat> he looks but he looks. He kind of reminds me of the um, Holly Quinn. They just don't look right proportion wise. Yeah, the hair doesn't look right either. That's crazy, though. But this uh, one they nailed. He's got the like high five. Yeah, yeah. You really could high five him every time you leave. Yeah, this one, this one, this one looks like someone put like just trying to look like him in, on Halloween. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. I mean? yeah. Right. They it doesn't look to, like, like him. Uh, costume you were saying got the uh, Joker costume pack. Exactly. It doesn't look like him. No, it doesn't. That's not that's not out the flick. What is that? I don't know. That, that big that big long the thing. horse. I keep seeing that the little horse horse guy Let me see if I can. I'm sure you get closer because I know he's got sweat on him. Um like really close because he's he's got some sweat on him. That base is sick, dude. Damn. <laughs> the base is sweet with the wood. It's classy, yeah. The whole end of the dragon. I like that. That's so cool. And then you got this crazy shit right here. I don't know what. Transformers, I can't get it. I can't I can't do it, man. There's too much to look at. Oh yeah, it's Trans way too Transformers confusing. Is like, it's like Lord of the Rings. I can't get into it. Jeez. It's That's too pretty badass bad. looking though. It's too busy this is, this to look at. Think Queen Studios? I think they look nice, but I mean, yeah, they, they don't look bad, dude. If the you're problem if, with the movies, is you couldn't tell what the hell was going on. I know, I know. If you're, dude, if you're a Transformers collector, you're probably like creaming yourself seeing the stuff, yeah. like, like to be able to get a full bust of like, Make I mean, that's pretty amazing. This, this can't, this isn't one to, it can't be, this isn't anywhere near one to one, right? No, I mean, those things are giant, yeah. Gosh, it's like third so scale of them, probably. That's so freaking sick. But it's like one to one human size. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gosh, that's cool though. All the detail they put into those. Damn. Oh, this is the new statue. This is the new uh Queen Studios Thanos statue. I think it's quarter scale. Was yeah, he sitting dude. on that pillar or was he on a rock? This is the one where he's waiting. Remember, he's waiting for them at the. At I the remember end. that, but it was he sitting on a pillar like that or was he just sitting on a boulder? I don't, I don't remember. Know. I don't know. 
I'm guessing he's probably the pillow. I don't know. It's cool how he's got his helmet on top of his uh, sword God. thing, though. That's so sick. Ew. That looks good. It looks really good. Again, the colors don't look right because of the, the light. The light, yeah, the lighting. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Oh, and this is the other the other Joker with a mirror. It's pretty it's pretty cool, man. I mean, this is look at this. Look at this shit. That base is one one of the best ever. It's unbelievable. Like if they start start they start doing this with these bases where it's like like a you know Russian nesting doll with these these you know base like a statue within a statue kind of a thing. That's pretty nuts. You're that getting a lot. Can... You're getting a lot for your money. But the problem with that one is you cannot put it up against a wall. No, you're right. You're right. That that's true. Uh, yeah, you 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 really can't. You have to put it out somewhere or or have it on yeah. a rotating base or something. Oh, there's there, there's your rotating base right there. Um. Oh, this is the other. This is like a new, I think a new Wonder Woman. Yeah. Queen Studios. That's pretty sick, dude. Yeah, anyway. Is that a full size Iron Man? Where? There? Up, up higher. Yeah. I the, think it's a quarter. It said, about... it said on, on the on the post. I think oh, it was it? on the one. Yeah. X that off and cancel that out. And you'll see what it said. One one. One one. Damn, dude. Light up. Gosh. Damn. That looks good. I'm yeah, sick of Iron Man, but that looks good. I know I am too, but that's you're you're sick of Iron Man like uh like freaking Steve's sick of Arthur Fleck. He really can't <laughs> stand it, can he? he? Cannot stand it. <laughs> I'm telling you, we should buy him a little Arthur Fleck figure and just send it to him whatever no. So funny. I'm gonna buy him an Arthur and, Fleck and Arthur pop. Fleck pop. <laughs> exactly. I was gonna say Arthur Fleck pop, Chris. This you would think you just did. Crazy it. man, this is crazy. Yeah. I can't. All right. So look at Dude, talk comment. about talk about like a, a, a statues telling a story, right? Yeah, that that is something else right there. I mean, that's seriously, like level. that's like it's like that's how he feels inside. Right, mm -hmm. which is, <laughs> yeah, which is crazy, man. It's really, really interesting. And then there's a so, small part of him that wants to dance. Yeah, <laughs> a very small, part. a very tiny, <laughs> very small part, tiny part. So you see Greg's him. comment. This is like the fourth time I've seen this in two, three days that one of these companies, Queen or Infinity, is trying to get the Star Wars license. So how true do you think that that is? Knowing what we know about licensing, I think it's very true because if Thor's saying it, he's been hearing it probably. Um, I do. I don't doubt it. Star Wars license. They, they know there's a ton of people that want this shit, right? Star Wars is like, why you can't go Star wrong. Star Wars with is it. king when it comes to, come to product. Just, yeah. You just can't go wrong with it. So like if they could make, think about it. If they could make a, if they made a freaking Mandalorian bust, look at the, with the quality they got going on here. Like a Leia or a Luke. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, they, they Lando, be, Lando with the cape, all smooth. What have we here? I'm telling you, man. I'm telling I don't think you, I'd be able to. I don't think I'd be able to do it. I don't think I would either. I think no. I, I shouldn't. I'll never say no because I always end up changing my mind about this stuff. But like, I think, I think if I put a human being on my shelf, my wife's gonna flip out. Like <laughs> it, it may be the end of my collecting. Like that's what I'm worried. It's about. weird. It's weird. It's a lot. It's a lot to do that. And and it, you know, I think that. Um, it takes a, yeah, it takes a lot to just dis to display like a, an actual half a human being. You know, I still just, can't believe I have a chewy like, bust in my my room. I yeah, look at it. And I'm like, Holy but that's shit. to me that's alien enough, right? That's yeah. different enough that like it, it's okay. Yeah, but um, and it's chewy. Like you just want to give it a hug. But like, you know, like I could do a Greedo. I could do um, uh, I could do a two tubes. Uh, CC CZ three. I could do a, a Q nine zero. Right, like you know who I really love. Is um, uh, Forlom, Forlom. Well, Forlom, yeah. But I'm talking about um, what's his name? The blue Akbar in Rogue One. Um, Admiral oh, Radic. Oh, yeah, 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 sure. Oh, that's such a cool design. It looks just. It would look so amazing as a. Yeah, I don't think I'd go for. I don't think. I just love the way it looks. I mean, yeah. It, you know, it's just it's so cool and different. Yeah. It would stand out. It's a blue. Yeah. Mon Calamari. Mon Calamari. You know what I mean? yeah. 
Dude, that would be that would be amazing though. If that if all of a sudden Queens because you gotta think, listen to listen, think about this. If Queen Studios gets the Star Wars license, let's just say it's Queen Studios, we don't know. You're talking about a a a, a company that can not only do bus, but is actually killing it doing statues now. Like their statues mm -hmm. are actually amazing. Um and really expensive. And expensive. But but think about that. Like think about getting quarter scale or some some sort of scale of statue but then also getting these busts that look like you know that person remember, sitting on your shelf we can pretend we're in the high rollers club i know we're not really that's we're true. not really in the high rollers club no, that's true yeah <laughs> the most accurate you thing you've said all day <laughs> according to my wife i'm not in the high rollers club <laughs> she's just trying to keep you Keep you from going to the high rollers yeah, club. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, one one piece I got. She was like, "You pay what?" I'm like, "Yeah." What, what was, what was that? I keep it honest. God, that um, is it was actually a, it was a, a commission piece, but it's unbelievable. That's crazy. Even the way some of the makeup is missing. I know. Yeah, it's like, like not going like the into pores. It. You see the pores, and how it's caked up in his eyebrows. It's on his eyelashes. Freaking damn. It paints it's on his eyelashes. That's going to be kind of fun to make. Who's this by? This is, um, I believe this is... Uh, that Queen. looks like this Jack is Queen. This is Queen. This, can you imagine this God. level of quality for a Star Wars thing? Oh, wait. No. When we were looking at the makeup in, in, in the eyebrows, that was the one-to-one -one scale, wasn't it? Or was yes. it the... Yeah, that's one-to-one. -one. Okay. That's one-to-one. If there was ever going to be a Star Wars to this degree, I would like to see a Darth Maul with that level of makeup. Oh, that'd be um, pretty crazy, dude. Application, yeah, makeup application of Darth Maul like that. Yeah. Yeah. That would be pretty cool, man. Yeah. That I might have to swing for. That'd be pretty awesome. I I like that. The chorus and card. Oh, that's mm -hmm. pretty sick too. Damn toys. That's so weird yeah. that damn toys is doing this. Damn busts. Yeah, no. Uh, anyway. So what'd you guys think about the what you guys think about the little Babu Frick that um was That's, I like I like Babu Frick. I like it. He's only um uh, only three hundred bucks. I mean you, know you get what you pay for, but yeah, three twenty five or something. Are you getting him? Um no, I just I, I asked some more pictures just out of curiosity. It's hand punched hair, silicone, but it's a little choppy looking. I I I hit him up, he didn't hit me back. So I, I was oh, really? I was asked, I was gonna try to ask him about it. Um, I was thinking it was gonna be quite a bit more than that. Um, you want me to send you the pics? Just just to peek at? Yeah, I'd like that. Um, I really yeah. like Babu Frick. Um, I Rubbish. just I I wanna I want a one to one Babu Frick at some point. I just don't know if this is the one. No, you know what it is. The problem is, is it's not that it's horrible, but when you get things like Chewy, the Rancor, CZ three, and then you have that, it's just like. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. Honestly, I'm starting to get to the point now where like I don't know if I want to order any more Novos helmets. Nope. Because I like RS so much. Yeah. And I don't know if I want to get any like you know, like like there's certain pieces that I just don't want to get because I know I think RS might make them at some point. And I if or they came RS, out, um Regal Robot. If they came out with a patrol trooper, I would get one. Helmet. See now Matt, Helmet. this goes yeah. back to what I was saying. It's also worth waiting. So it doesn't mean that you have to pass up on things, but you know, if you like, you know, the mythos line comes up. If you like massage, great. You don't have to get all of them first just to complete the the set, unless you're a completist. But you know that, like, all right, you can scratch that itch by buying one. Maybe a month or two passes, and you're like, yeah, that mall's growing on me. You can buy them all because they're not going to sell it immediately. I mean, they will sell out, but not instantly. Yeah. And then in between, you just kind of fill those gaps with a little, you know, variations of scale and variations of, you know, lower price items that are nice enough to meet the collection. But you don't overdo it because you're waiting for those, the Rancors and the, you know, those type pieces to come up because those yeah. are the wild pieces. And you just kind of fill them in between. That's the best way to go about it. At least yeah. for me, I, that's the way I like to, to approach it. I, I know Steve likes to do the line, but I don't think doing lines is realistic. You know, I like, just don't because it doesn't it I, like like with the mythos. I, that that Obi Wan, I, I don't like it. The no. Emperor, the Emperor's like a six out of ten for me. Not enough for me to spend my money on. 
No. You know, Maul, Maul maybe I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards like, him. Asajj like is, is 100%, but I just I can't complete the line just for the sake of completing it. I hear yeah. you. I, I think there's something to be said, though, about lines that take a long time. Let's let's say let's say Regal Robot, Robot ends up doing a droid line, but it takes five years. That's, that's fun. That's interesting. That yeah, interest, that's enjoyable. That's interesting. That's enjoyable. Right? That's partly why I'm 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 more leaning towards the CZ three because I am thinking that that might be the case at some point that you might have eventually have four or five droid busts next to each other that just look freaking amazing, right? It's it's that's oh, kind of. Yeah. I mean, uh, we can't say though, right? I can't. We don't know. We uh, we don't really know what's yeah. going on. I mean, like. <laughs> Nah, drop it. Yeah, they're gonna make yeah. more. They're gonna make yeah. more. We know that they're gonna make more. Um, and it's gonna be fantastic. Um, yeah, I would take a. F I would take a. F I wouldn't take all of them, but I would take a few of them. Yeah, for but sure. I would take this guy right here. Oh, he's so sick. Dude. Yeah, I would, I would love that. It's so sick. Um, it's so sick. The leather guys... goods on that thing, having leather goods on a on a droid, would be so. Sick. I think it would be amazing. Yeah. Oh, Do you guys have anything specific for Friday's group therapy? Uh, I'm kind of the wrong guy to ask about that, but I think what, what's come out, I mean, he's, he's going to talk about the rank. We're going to talk about the rancor. We'll talk about for the fifth millionth time. We'll talk about mall. We'll talk about, um, trooper, the, 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 the trooper, uh, curse on trooper. We'll talk there'll probably about, be some things to talk about from sideshow this week. Yeah. Oh yeah. There'll be tons uh, for my try to, if not, not an unboxing per se, but I, if, if I have it in hand and it's, you know, I might uh, just bust out the Y wing for a quick little sneak peek. Damn, do you got to do um, a? You almost have to do a special one for that one. That's a big deal. Yeah, but the the way they do it, it's just a cardboard box, and you open it. So I don't. I, I don't know. You know. I know, man. But I I I was bummed when I found, when you told me you were flying, and I'm like, oh man, I wish I could have seen that Y wing. That'd be a pain in the ass to bring with you, though. Don't worry about it. Yeah, the figure won't. But the the Y wing, I was thinking, I was like, it's light, but carrying the box in the plane. I could do that. Just sit on the plane with it. <laughs> Where, well, you probably, I mean, that, that count, that'd count. probably count for your mask. So you yeah, know, you safe for COVID. Yeah, it's protecting yeah, me from COVID. My COVID protection. All right, guys. Um, we're going to hop out of here uh, in, the, in the broadcast, but um, please hang around. Like, listen, guys, I can't say that we won't jump on another stream in the next couple of days because there's so much to talk about. It's possible. Um, I, I can't promise anything, but like if there's some really cool shit that comes out, we might actually jump on and talk about it. Um, maybe. I, I don't think there's going to be really cool shit, to be honest. I think there's going to be a couple pieces here and there. But if it's like outrageous, then we might hop on and talk about it. But 100% we're going to be on group therapy this this Friday. And then Saturday morning, we will do a recording of the uh, collector's spotlight with uh, Rob from RS. And then um, we'll put that on at some point as well. So um that's gonna be like two rs collector spotlights in a row that's interesting I mean, really probably so one, so you're, getting two, you're getting two different perspectives which is yeah good. no it's cool the, the thing is yeah. with collector spotlights they're honestly gonna it's gonna be a, a very short line of videos because we got like what simon rob and then we might talk to tom from regal robots sometime and then like that's it <laughs> maybe right. arm effects at some point um we're not really we don't really know that many people <laughs> So it'll be it'll be a short one, but uh, whatever. Um, yeah, good guys. Good. Yeah. Thank you for your time and appreciate everyone in the chat. Have a good rest of the week, and we'll see you. If not sooner, we'll see you on Friday. Peace Ciao. out.